<laughs> intro, sorry. This is uh, Collectors clip. United. It's not sorry, 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 sorry. You know that is the, is the time zone, the time zone. So, Collectors Unite, we reached the 40 edition. Hmm? Almost 50. Hey. Almost, almost 50. Kind almost of. 50. Yeah, kind of. It's amazing. Pretty good week. Uh, a week that um, Ellen was saying that was very poor in third party uh, oh. re- announcements, but I think was full of third parties. Um, good stuff from Hot Toys, too. Some news from Inart. We do have. Um, we we want to talk about the interview that Viper uh, did um, in the shiny so- social media, and we, we will talk about that. What did the answer to the shiny collectors? Some stuff about Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, Apollo Treaties from Dune, yes. uh, the one twelve scale, and uh, what other lines they are uh, thinking about. We are we are going to talk about it in our Viper interview later on. And we will have also, because we have an announcement from um, uh, from Hot Toys, announcement and release for the, um, the Trooper from the Star Wars Battlefront, we will have our Star Wars Hour with Miss Ellison, that she will tell us everything we need to know about this Trooper, the origins, uh, what she thought about the game, and so on. So I'm sure everyone will be excited with that. Um, furthermore... To everyone that won the that won the detonators, the giveaway, I already shipped them all out. I sent uh, sh- tracking to everyone, and I guess you will get them by next week. Everyone should get them by next week. Um, so about that, it's all done. Uh, what more that I want to share here? Um, oh, about the troopers today, because some people message me asking me uh, how many troopers are available in China, these these troopers that was the limited ones. Uh, China allo- allotment was uh, a bit less than 400, but it seems they sold out very fast. They they, they sold out fast. Um, oh, but I don't think you will have, you will have uh, any issues to getting this trooper because I saw um, William, Wang, William Wong was uh, uh, selling them for $330 already shipped. So I don't think it's a bad is a bad price. I think it was more uh, than that, Joao. Was not three hundred thirty five? Oh, US. Sorry, yeah. US. US yes, three hundred thirty five yeah. US. Right. Uh, I saw. I saw William Wong was was giving that price. I don't That's think it would be a, a hard a hard figure to to find out. Uh, <laughs> I always remember the the Arena Boba Fett. Right. <laughs> Everyone was paying six uh, people paying six hundred seven hundred dollars for that, and now you can get it in the. 300 sometimes even less um but not only that not only that the market is so broken that today i saw i I was kind of shocked rooted in art joker the two pack for 800 dollars in one six republic bst 800 dollars that is below the retail price so Mm -hmm. it's no figure no figures are are um are free from from falling anyway sure. without hanging much m- too much more because my my mouth is already dry uh miss ellison how's everything with you how oh, was fantastic. your week yeah fantastic. good week i actually um actually went back and watched collectors unite number one yesterday yes. <laughs> with bob dylan <laughs> With Bobby D, yeah, it was a pleasant Bobby surprise D. to see Bob on there. So I got a little bit nostalgic. Uh, wanted to see who was on the first panel, and I um I probably got about half half an hour into it, and I left it on Joao saying Moon Knight was confusing, and I was like, yes, it was. This is a good point to exit if I, on. If so. I'm not mistaken, it was me, Bob Dylan, um, uh, James. Yeah. James the collector, Fab's figures, and was and no more. Right, was the four of us. Yeah, I correct. remember James had a problem with the connection, and the connection was always breaking. And we, were, I was almost my 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 brain brains were already frying because it was the first collectors unite, and the connection was always going down. I said, what the hell? Yeah, but was, what you thought about that stream? You like it? You liked it? Oh yeah, I think um. 
I think you were still had those one liners, but maybe a little bit more of a smile. So I'm I'm wondering if the happy moods are connected to the hat you used to wear. Maybe, maybe I should brought the I should bring the hat back, right? Let's see. We never know. We could have a hat week um, one week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what we have um, what we have this week uh, any new topic about um... life with Christian? <laughs> Do we get any topic <laughs> about life with Christian? Because you always have very very good topics about your yeah. life. Other than like you know Dune. You know? Listen, I got you're That's still not. in the dune, right? In the dune. I'm, I'm still in the dune. I'm still inside the dune. I was like, so inside and out. But uh, I've been swamped this week. I am swamped through this month and probably next. But uh, I don't know. Other than work, it's been an exciting week with a lot of trailers. Other than you guys, I do watch all, all the trailers. I watched, you know, all the Alien, Rom the Romulus, the Acolyte. I think there was a lot more, but uh, I've been having a lot of fun watching them, it, although they were only trailers. And don't forget, we got the kind of semi tease with from uh, Hot Toys about the dark side, finally. So we kind of have more info of what their, what their direction is. So my hype is still there, still there. You guys won't imagine the, the, uh, the Joao, you know, he made this photo of my face being as in hyped. And I was like, every time I see that, I I, I, I die inside a little bit. But uh, do I you want me to show? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please okay. don't. But just anyways. just use his photos back at him, Christian. Come on. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's, yeah. that's, that's way but, too much. Uh, but guys, don't forget that in a while we will have, of course. It's time for Star Wars Hour with Miss Allison. Star Wars hours, Star Wars, Star Wars, there are Star Wars hour with Miss Allison. Uh, okay, let let me check here who's in the chat. We got as always Streamyard with us. He never leave us. Always the first to be here. The Bro Collector, Wang Shan Hao. Boa noite. I can, I cannot read this. I cannot read this. Can you read this, Christian? This is your uh, Korean language. Ong Jin Jong Jong Gong. How to say? I'm sorry, that's not Korean. This is good evening. Good should be good 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 evening. I want to say good evening in Korean. No, no, that's Chinese. Wait, wait, that's Chinese. On. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you are broken. Uh, noble we are, Noble Young, how are you? Lane Kramer in the house. A to bread and the panel today. Not as much happiness release wines from Hot Toys, but they had a killer trooper exclusive. And oh my, oh my, there's a Batmobile in our future. There is, there is. Brian Wong, hello, Lane Kramer. Brian, how are you? I did got your email. I need to make some changes and I will reply the email, the email back because there are some changes I need to make, but really appreciate the work that you guys did. Uh, hello, panel. It says I missed the stream last week. No problem. I'm, I'm sure you were busy because I'm sure you were doing the, those... Um, what's the name of the, the Detail Flight module cases that look amazing? The mono, mono, mono. mono? mono well, they look it? beautiful. They look beautiful. Um, we got as well in the house prime time reviews. How are you? And as always, member of the channel, AJ Agruza, greeting friends. Oh. Hope everyone is doing well. Hey, AJ, how are you? We got Bob Dylan as always. Happy Bobby. Ghostbusters Bobby Day. Day. Hello, Bob Dylan. Are you? What? What? Later, I also want to ask you for you and Ellen. Maybe you did you watch Ghostbusters, Ellen, before, and the last movies or not? I saw the first two and mm -hmm. the one with Chris Hemsworth that everyone hated but I enjoyed. I didn't see the first the remake with Paul Rudd. No, I haven't okay, seen that the first one. But I saw the okay, first three. Uh, the new one, The Frozen Empire, is already in the cinemas. Apparently there's a lot of mix, mix reviews. Um, but let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm not. I'm not very excited at this moment. I'm a bit worried with that movie, but let's see. Uh, Six scale Shiro Helen in the house, also a member of the channel. Hello, Helen. Welcome. I hope you enjoy our stream tonight with Miss Allison. Uh, Keith Lee in the house. Happy Friday, collectors. Hope everyone is doing well. Joan, it's quiet in here. Let's hear some of those sweet tunes. Uh, my DJ Christian already took care of that. 
uh, Len Kramer is saying he unboxed the HD, the Batman and the Bat Cycle. I know in collecting weekly unboxing, to post figures on the vehicles can take so long. Took me over an hour and a half to get Batman poses with his feet on the pedals. Looks good though. Right, as long as you got that pose, then then it no any issues. Uh, yeah, 300 troopers around, something like that. Toy collector in the house. Every Friday, everyone. We got as well. El Professorio Mario, Bro, hello, hello Mario, how are you? Also member of the channel, Big Rib. Good morning, my favorite morning stream. Good morning, uh, Big Rib to you. And Iron King, always Yo. here. How are you, Iron King? Breda had a hot exclusive, really exclusive, because they said that about the Chrome clone. Now it's in, still in stock. I don't know, it depends. For example, they did these uh, 1500 pieces. Um, I don't know if it was really clear if it was uh, worldwide 1500 or only this 1500 for China and Hong Kong and uh, I don't know. How many sideshow will have, I have no idea. If it will be exclusive or no, I really don't know. So, my best bet would be try to get it as one says goes on sideshow, get it for retail, just to be safe. I don't think, I don't think it's a trooper that 1500 collectors will want him. I think they did. I think it's enough quantity for everyone to get theirs and then some. So just, I think it's always better to play safe, because uh, me and Christian we will also talk about that later. Because hot toys in Asian market is already changing a bit, mm -hmm. and um, I am not as comfortable as I was before, because today I got a bit a bit shaken up when I noticed that some figures I can I can no longer find them anywhere. Um, AJ Agruza, it even got a sound bite. Yeah, is the, the Christian life with Christian. Jay Z in the house, how are you? Jay Z, Blue Tattoo, hi everyone, hi Blue Tattoo. And Anthony Stanfield, this is my favorite stream because of the international favor, not just USA centering. Thank you so much. Yeah, That's we so have so colorful. many you, cool USA streams. Sometimes it's good to also to mix a bit. Ramstein fan 79. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hello. We got Gilbert Amazon. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Gilbert PT Works. Sub Pips. Um, Bob Dylan saying 2016 Ghostbuster the movie would have done much better with Brie Larson. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I kind of believe that. Interesting. And Helen would be happy for sure. For sure. Always. Uh, EDR. Good morning, everyone. It's snowing in Detroit. Oh, is it good or bad? It's I think snowing it, and snowing. Movie. Oh Jesus, snowing is is it's always. Alexa. I don't know. Do you like snow? Time. Year is hot. It's already getting those crazy temperatures. It's um, feeling like uh, late fall here. Kind of like chilly, but not really chilly. It's kind of like drizzly. Kind of like sad weather. I don't like it. Light fall? But we are in spring, you know. It's fall what? in Australia. It's too hot. Oh, okay. I mean Korea. Yeah. Brick Artemis. Breda, have you been working out? Uh, no, not today. Not today. Today was my, my rest and day. Today I only killed a man with a pencil. Yona Delic. That Bruce Wayne figure though. Yona Delic, how are you? My friend Mo, also in the house. Hello, everyone. Hey, Mo. I don't know if you received my my email because I already sent you the detonator that you won. Um, and we have one more here. Uh, TX Boy two one zero. Morning, everyone. Happy to catch the live. Don't forget to smash the like button. Buttons. Thank you so much to remind me, TX Boy, because I always forget, guys. Please remember to leave a like. It will. It always helps the channel. Tremble this was about to say. How long have I have been working for it to be elderly all the time? No, no, no. It was my it was my mistake. Sorry. Um, four inch. Oh, four inch is not few. The snow, snow. Four inch is almost almost nine uh, almost nine cm centimeters. It is. Quan Harper. Hello, everyone. Hello, Quan Harper. How are you? And we got as well in the house. Collector. Joey in the house, good morning, friends. I was reading here the question from Len. So does it feel crazy that we still have not five or, or five or first trooper has not been released yet from Hot Toys? That's the one is the one but that's is in the upcoming releases, right? Wasn't it? Oh that's right, yeah. From the upcoming we still have the yeah. 501st and the uh future warrior something. Yeah, but that that's not Star yeah. Wars. That's um that's uh, other stuff. 
but le let's clear just out of the way here some stuff that we need to talk um this umbra operative um umbra umbra this umbra. i will not show the announcement photos i will just show the, the blogger photos because this was an announcement release but what i want to check just is actually because if i can read between the lines this is a hot toys exclusive item available with limited quantity of 1500 pieces initial initially launching in china and hong kong then the piece will soon arrive in other regions so i would guess is total quantity of 1500 that's why they only gave um, 400 to china i would guess probably more 400 to 400 600 to hong kong and then uh, 500 or, or something to sideshow that's the only thing that makes sense something to like me that. it should be something like that i'm going to be very honest with with all of you i never play the star wars battlefront uh, games i'm not familiar at all with this trooper i do think however that it looks very cool i like the color screen the scheme i think it looks amazing i'm very excited for anyone that that wanted in the collection i'm sure it will look really really cool but it's something that i really don't have any interest in so i will i will give you guys the chance to get to get one in in my place because this will not fit in my collection although i think it looks really really beautiful but uh, christian do you have i don't know if you play star wars battlefront i didn't play i actually pretend to buy the game because it's now available on switch it was mm. released a remaster for switch ps5 xbox and so on um so what what you have to say about these um Umbra. Well, regarding Umbra. the uh, recent Battlefront, I haven't. The only Battlefront I played was like 15 years ago, which I don't know what it, what version that is, but um, I think it's cool. I think it's cool, but uh, do I have any like, uh, was I, did I know of this character or whatever? No, but I do like the design. It looks a lot like, uh, it gives me a Call of Duty vibes on on the whole design thing I, I like it i like it. i like the yellow touch i like all the the kind of skull looking pink job it's it's cool i like it and the fact that it's it's exclusive i don't mind i think uh whoever needs or wants one will have a fair chance at least i don't know though but about that exclusive thing you know the uh the, what was that the, the cockroach whatever the common writer exclusive thing that was kind of released really quickly i didn't notice but um that guy was kind of available here in korea and they only carried 12 12 pieces and it's i think the second or the third day that it's been kind of been available and it's still there so i recently i'm just thinking these exclusives they could be exclusive but that 1400 1500 or even 2000 i don't think it's that small that number really i think at the truthfully and honestly at the state of our economy and, uh, and everything i think we all who have survived and who are still here i think we'll all have a fair chance of getting at least one i know there's a lot of people who wants to kind of army build this which i totally understand and when i saw this i thought about it because they give you what three helmets phase one phase two and uh the the commander helmet is it i'm not too educated you guys can uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i can totally see it it'll be dope i have like four clones over here so i totally know what you guys are talking about but these are exclusive army building is going to be tough but, yeah, but what i'm saying is does being exclusive does that make you like more the figure because it's exclusive yeah yeah it so does. if it wasn't exclusive maybe you would not get it but it's exclusive you are getting it even though maybe it's a figure that will not fit in your collection the okay here's a difference i like everything black I like my clothing black, I like my mic black, my laptop is black, my desk, my monitor is black, my phone is black, I, I even got the, uh, the, uh, 
the uh, the, the, the the arena Boba Fett because he's black. I I like even my car is black. I like everything black. That's just me. I, I like the whole color of it. So that is kind of. So why different. did you go? Why did you go with the tops and not with black shelves? Because I was a uh, COVID collector. I was very new and newbie, and the only kind of uh, yeah, the entry gate to kind of a display case was uh, was Detox, and that's why. And I'm um, I'm thinking about building mine. So you just wait there. You just wait there when I just shove it all on your, on your ass. But uh, uh <laughs> anyways, I do get your point. I was gonna say I was gonna bring up the Commander Fox at that. If you guys think about it, when that guy was kind of teased as in one of the poster kind of thing, some people were kind of guessing that Commander Fox could be exclusive and the hype was massive. And when he turned out to be just a normal, you know, release and announcement, where's it now? It's everywhere. No one wants him for some reason. I know some people do, but it's not like hyped. So being being an, an exclusive does bring that kind of hype i get it does it make me hype too yeah does it make me kind of feel uh i should the, have that uh, photo here now jesus <laughs> this was a perfect <laughs> don't you dare for photo. don't you don't you goddamn dare but but uh, yeah it does get me kind of the urge to pick it up right now do i i even put up the rsvp on sideshow just in case uh, if i miss out but uh you do you, my friend. You do you. Uh, you let do me you. just say hello to Evil Sneaker in the house. How are you, Evil Sneaker? We got as well. Um, let me see here. PT Works. Hello, PT Works. How are you? And uh, let me catch up here in some some chats. Lane is asking, uh, do you think panel this figure? Do you think it could pair with the Bad Batch figures? The dark gray and black might uh, mix well. Mm, I would I would say maybe I think this can, can I maybe. think yeah I, I think you can fit them there I don't see a problem with that Mario saying that need this clone yeah because oh, Mario yeah. is a clone collector so of course he needs all of these uh, TX boy say was lucky enough to secure three can have them one with each helmet I think this will look amazing on the shelf indeed indeed congratulations if you got three that's amazing already three bob dylan is there, is asking for fives and echo and get it over with um True. and let me see here tx boy saying that in a boba fett like we were talking before that was limited to 800 or something like that and that piece came back down to retail just about uh, yeah, uh, that in a boba now is not retail, but a bit over retail. I think it's like 300, 320, something like that. You still can can find that. So it's like the the FOMO sometimes. Can I? It's like the, it's like this. Um, we got here EDR asking Profi who is doing LWO. Is uh, six scale reviews? Mm, uh, Ten. That is hosting uh, LWO tonight. Uh, clones we need more clones and uh, now finally we reach to the time that we will listen our it's time for star wars hour with miss allison miss allison how are you so we would like to know what you think about this uh amber operative arc trooper from the star wars battle friend front 2 i'm sure you never heard about this this game I'm sure you never heard about this trooper. If if I didn't, I'm sure you also <laughs> didn't. But uh, what are your thoughts about this as a trooper for a Star Wars collector like you are not? Correct, I'm not. Um, look, I have a comment that will probably trigger people and a legitimate Ooh. question, right? So I don't know if it's just Australia, but this is like the colorways of our like traffic signs that want to warn you that kangaroos might hop across the road. So this makes me think <laughs> of those traffic signs. But um, <laughs> so I don't know this game. I don't know if other characters have been released to go with this. So I don't know if it's a companion piece, if it's the first thing that's been first released. Thing, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. So that leads to my next question because... I'm pretty sure he's an Australian guy, but he lives in the UK now. There's this guy called, I think it's David Woon on Instagram. And he has a whole business of painting the clone troopers, whatever, however you want. So if you really want this and you're saying it's similar to other troopers, like there's people who can just paint this for you. Like, am I not 
right there because I see him he gets the helmets and he will do little videos showing you of how he's painted them up to look like different things and stuff from Star Wars so I don't know I just feel like if you want a particular type of trooper like there's custom options out there or you can try yourself I don't know I don't know how good people are with painting but um yeah I don't know I just I'd love to know how many troopers have been made because I feel like every couple of months some trooper is announced like that one that looked like a teapot and the mustard and ketchup teapot? one oh, yeah, yeah like yeah, it was yeah. like a porcelain mm -hmm. with like a blue yeah, yeah, yeah. it looked like a tea like a teacup teapot type thing um like is that from anything or is that just it's people pure being creative? creation from hot toys yeah okay interesting um yeah i just i just don't know why people need so many of these i just want my artisan captain marvel please <laughs> true you but just want help. your artisan captain marvel okay that's fair <laughs> I think Helen brought up an interesting, I mean, comment, but, um, y'all, do you think this is a cash grab? Like, just a... No, no, not at all. I think that if they have the license to do from this game and if they can capitalize on some different trooper, why not? They've been doing this forever. It's already in their, in Hot Toys DNA to do these, um, to do these kind of releases, different troopers, different color schemes, um, they need to monetize the molds they already have and the, the helmets and all the, the stuff. They, they, this is how a company wins money, is without opening molds, with just using the molds they already have and just printing printing them out, painting them differently and let it go. I think it's 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 fine. I don't, I don't have yeah. an issue with that. It's, it's so easy how, you know, Helen, you just talked about it. If they yeah. wanted to like cash grab on these, they would be announcing different colored troopers every month or every week. They could do that. There's that many designs out there, but they don't. And this is a specific design, so I don't I honestly don't think it's like a straight cash grab, like an easy money out. No, but no, no, not at all. No, no. Not at all. Do you know what I'm two things they should do? They should do a neon tech trooper and then they should do a trooper that has no paint at all and you get paints and you can paint it yourself however you want a di a DIY, a DIY, diy trooper yeah why not i'm sorry so I you mean to play that you clip. mean like a, a white trooper in a box mm -hmm. and then with a with um with yeah. um with a set of paints mm -hmm. and then with um with a what with a brush yeah, whatever and then do your do your own trooper then you do you right yeah that would be cool right you then you. you can make whatever you want no but we'll not be wouldn't be canon and then star wars collectors would be would be crazy it wouldn't yeah, but be is canon, the porcelain trooper canon and the paint job will be kind of even if i did it if it, if anyone would do it like if, if you're not an artist it would be like kind of wonky so yeah There are other clones that people want more than these, like Echo and Fives. It's exactly crazy how they made these exclusive. Just pray the name clones are mass produced like Jess. Yeah, the name clones, I think so. I think they are just doing this for these uh, exclusive, just for these different yeah. ones. Ak if you Akira, member of the channel in the house, how are you? I'm late, but I pray than everyone just in time for Ellen's Star Wars analysis. It's not Helen's, it's Miss Allison. It's Allison. Painted with Sharpie, that's fine, she says uh, Jay-Z. There are hard to there are art toys that do things like that. Exactly, there are there are. I remember yeah. there was um, for kids like piggy banks, ceramic ones that they would paint by themselves, something like that. You exactly. are in Serbia. I never played Battlefront two. Uh, really, really never. I never played Battlefront. I need 2. to. Um, I, I, it was in a time that I was not playing much games and. I don't know. Maybe I was focusing focusing on my studies and so on. Um, let me uh, think. Let, let let's go out of fear of this trooper. And I want to talk about this is kind of a. It's not a tease, but is um, a kind of, and it's something that I know Helen is is um, very excited. 
about um but uh, not, this is not a joke i'm i'm talking serious now it's about the imminent release of the 89 batmobile from hot toys um basically they did a post oh jesus i don't want to remove the picture but i'm going to the post they did a post only in their um secret base um you know, facebook page oh um because there was basic basically saying it, they did the same with the delorean before um they were saying that um is it the p delivery and pickup arrangements for the 89 batmobile that it will start shipping in early april and due to the large size of the product we recommend customers who have ordered would use our delivery service in hong kong of course uh so it's just just to tell customers that pre-order there in secret base that from to yesterday until march the third march 31st one they need to confirm if they want to pick up in store or if they want to delivery uh, so it's basically like this so they did the same with the delorean before exactly the same day they did this announcement um from what i can judge here and i, I was having this discussion with shane a uh, one six figure focus i hope you are well shane uh, you was uh, we were talking and the box size if is one one zero eight centimeters is basically the same box that i have because i have the original one so i'm positive that this is exactly the same vehicle that we got the first time now now it's i know it's too late because the vehicle is done but i would hope that at least they they have um upgraded the paint application and at least to uh, use uh, led lights because um in my uh, batmobile when you have it lighting up if you are not in the dark you you don't notice the lights are up because they are so dim and especially if you light up the delorean and the ecto one even the tumbler then the batmobile you you don't notice that the lights are up so i hope they at least improve the the lighting i'm very excited for everyone that is going to to have these people like helen this is a beautiful piece really beautiful uh and uh, it's very difficult to judge it by photos very very difficult to judge it by photos when you have it in your collection the way the way is um the way it looks it's it's really really cool uh let me see here uh, pt were saying that is is bright unless it's uh, it's my my lights that are already turned off because of the years i don't know if yours is bright so it's cool maybe it's it's the pr a problem in mine um no problem no problem if is if the lights are good but Alan, I, i'm sure you are excited for this uh, just to ask you because this is actually a very huge uh, box uh, heavy did you pre-order this locally in the store or how did you handle with this uh, with this uh, pre-order so i ordered it from pop culture um mm -hmm. in melbourne they do free shipping so it was both cheapest price wise for me and also being sort of sideshows distributor in australia i know if there's any problems they will sort me out so um i don't pre-order a lot of things well in advance but this and the accompanying i, I guess we can't do we call it a reissue of the mark the dx9 i know it's an mms but anyway the 89 batman to go with this um i'm really hopeful that's not far away either but they were two items that i knew i had to have so I pretty much pre-ordered them straight away from pop culture. Um, and I have seen this in person, a collector I know here in Perth has this, I've seen this in his display. So excited. Pop culture did have the ETA as August this year. So if that's going to be coming out in April, I'm hoping we might even get it a little bit earlier here in Australia. Those turnaround times between Sideshow in the US and Australia have sort of tightened up a little bit, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. The whole reason I built this cabinet behind me was I, I knew I wanted this Batmobile. I've got the two tumblers and that's how I wanted. They were the three vehicles that I wanted to have. So super excited. This is the horse I backed in the 89 Batmobile uh, stakes because I think it will fit quite nicely in my 
cabinet and still give me room to display the figures. So I can't wait. Um, I'm expecting it to be the same. I think the only difference is it doesn't come with that sort of battle shell cocoon that the first one came with. Everything else looks the same. I'm completely happy with that. Um, I think I've explained on the stream in the past that with the Jazz Ink one, with exchange rates and shipping to Australia and tax, they come to, to, to about three and a half thousand dollars Australian. So this is like a third of the price. It does me just fine. I can't wait. I've wanted this for a really long time and I'm excited they're reissuing it. So I'll be very happy to give this a home when it comes to me eventually. Uh, yeah, it's one thing that I would say, however, is the, um, the shell, the Batmobile shell that uh, were given with the first one. That was basically a way that they, they found to try to protect during shipping. Because the, the, that shell was all covered with uh, foam pieces inside. But that fired back to them because it was exactly that shell that was scratching the Batmobile mm -hmm. during, during shipping. And many people had that issue. Even mine have a scratch because of that shell. A, a tiny, tiny scratch. Uh, and but there's, I'm curious. I think now they they covered it with polyfoam for sure. And um, and Helly, uh, Ellen, one thing I recommend is to be very careful with this vehicle because if it's the same paint and the same plastic, it's it is very very easy to scratch. So you, okay. you need to pay attention. I also noticed that on the tumbler, the tumbler is easy to scratch when you, you when you try to open that compartment in the front. And I said, what? What's this? And I said, no, 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 I'm not going to open. I need to open this very carefully because this thing's going to scratch the plastic. Um, but I think there's, that was only the reason. And that shell, like PT Works is, is saying here, you won't use it and still scratch the roof. Exactly. That shell, is, <laughs> it's in my box. I don't use it really uh, for anything. I don't know if the, does this one comes with, um, with that... Uh, rotating base yes it comes with a stand you okay. can put it on yep okay that is cool it's cool i mean if you want it if you have it in a position that you can rotate him in a table it's cool but if you have it in a cabinet it doesn't make much sense unless <laughs> you want to keep the wheels from uh, from touching the the shelf but sometimes i change sometimes i use it sometimes i i, I remove it it's not always the same I even used it before for the DeLorean because it was exactly perfect to fit the DeLorean and the DeLorean could be in over mode with that. Um, let me just say hello here to some people that arrive. Uh, meanwhile, Austin Nicholas. Uh, hi, Austin. Hey, how are you, my friend? Um, we got here as well. Calvin, Loki collector. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Alan, Joao and Christian. Hello, Calvin. How are you? Um, excited to talk with you later on lwo and uh, uh johanna delic is saying my favorite batmobile same as me same as me here and uh tyria also in the house hi helen joan and christian hi hey. Shet. hello tyria how are you but yeah it's uh it's cool that they are they are releasing these um these uh, batmobile uh, this soon uh they 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 did this really fast and i think that they have good orders i guess they have good orders for this because not everyone has um has uh, money to pay for the jazz ink one and sure. many people even have the money it's not only money many people still prefer to have the hot toys one hot toys collectors many hot toys collectors they prefer i i i, I want the hot toys one and and that's perfectly fine why well yeah, because for for many reasons, like space is a big one. The Jazz Inc. is going to be really long. No, the whereas... space, no, the space, is, the difference is not huge. The difference is, I would say, is eight centimeters or ten centimeters. That's that's not a huge difference. That's True, not... but let me ask you this, Helen: If you were to get the Jazz Inc. one, could you fit that in your display right could. now? It Good. would be very snug um, because my shelving unit is 1.2 meters long, I guess you'd say, and that's what the Jazz Ink one comes out as. So is this cabinet exactly 1.2 meters? Is that figure exactly 1.2 meters? I don't know. So I actually do like that this is a little bit shorter and I can feel comfortable that it will fit 
and give me some room to put figures because I'm, I'm not sure if it will fit, but I've I've got the new 89 Batmobile with that really cool um, gargoyle diorama base coming as well. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find a way to position that next to the Batmobile because I literally dictated that shelf height based on fitting in that diorama. So I think I think crossed. your shelf I think your shelf is wide enough that you can have the Batmobile a bit in a diagonal. Yeah. And then you can have the the Batman um, on the other side. Um, well, that's absolutely true. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I do. I do I do the vehicles in diagonal. So I, you can fit you can fit more figures. The only one I cannot do that is the Ecto one because that is, that is a, a beast and is way too wide. Um, you know, just yes? to add, just to add like one last touch. I know um, there's a lot of differences with the Jazz Ink one, but I have like this weird um, nostalgia with this particular specific vehicle because when I first got into this hobby. I still remember when Jay kind of, sh Jay, you know, bro from Brother Cousins, he was showing off his display with the Batmobile and everything with, with the whole figures. And at the time, it was a kind of a, not kind of, it was a grail. And to even have the figures with it them. Was, and he, it was, his, it was, this vehicle until uh, two years ago, it was a grail. And he, it and his display was beautiful back then. And I'm sure if he, he still has them, it's still, it which still is. And just because, like, you know, Jazzing have kind of updated and their designs, does this make it less pretty? No, no I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I, I think, think they are two, they are two, two options. True. It's not, it, it, it's, the, it's the same that be... you are talking about. It's the same if you talk about, for example, the... Um, the Pattison Batman from Inart and Hot Toys. Does the the Hot Toys one will be wor is worse because Inart is making one more expensive? No, it's, it's two, two different, different products. two different two different products, two different brands, two different exactly. takes. And we as collectors, we have the power to decide which one we want. It's our collection. We don't. It's not because you have a, a, bat, a Hot Toys Batmobile that you are an inferior collector than the one no. that have the Jazz no, no, one. No, no, no. Yeah. Nothing to do with it. I still anyway. remember that moment when I saw Jay's. It's beautiful. Everyone it who chose to get this version, I think they will love it. For sure. Um, but I think it's everything uh, regarding here. The Batwing, the Batwing, the Batmobile. I still, I'm still dreaming about the Batwing. It's, it's, it's not in, in, you know. I still uh, -Z, look at that list if you want one. No, Jay Z here is asking in our Batman announced. Uh, it's been released, and I'm going. We are going to pick up on that uh, to talk about um, an interview that Viper in Art Viper did um, recently for uh, Chinese um, social media, and uh, I'm not going to play the interview because it's all in Chinese, but uh, I did take some points from that interview. And uh, actually, we can start here with this in art Batman because um, there was a question uh, to Viper asking when will the 22 Batman X uh, will be released uh, and when it will start to fully ship. And uh, I think that at this, at this point, Jay Z and everyone in the chat, uh, it's already the fourth figure they are going to, to release. And I think at this moment, we already understood that what in art um, considers a release it's different than than what hot toys considers a release because hot toys when launch the blogger photos they start shipping everything okay to everywhere but in art considers a release when they put out the first unboxing the show like a show and tell they do that it's they are showing the figure uh, some reviewers have the figure in hand to review. I think that's when they consider the date of release. So Viper uh, answered this question like this: a release in March, in March, March, and start the shipping uh, within the Q2. This is what I understood from what he said: was that release in March, but the shipping will be. Um, within Q2 
if you guys uh, notice, um, I cannot say about the. Um, I can say about the Joker, for example. When I got my Joker, I still remember was in December 21. I don't think anyone got their Joker before Shiny's New Year. I don't know if it was April or uh, May when people start to 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 got Joker get Jokers. Same thing happened with Gandalf. Same thing happened with Pennywise. Um, uh, and I I've been saying this, and I even I even told them this, but now I don't talk with them. But I I kind of told them if you are guy if you guys are going to ship some reviewers figures first, even for me because of course I pay for my figure, but I receive it first to review. Um, at least you should send us to the reviewers with the less time frame from shipping send to us and start shipping for everyone within one week and everyone will be more happy because it makes no sense that i am reviewing a figure that a collector will only have in hands after three months or four months or five months it, it makes no sense and then <laughs> because then everyone comes after me why you have the figure why you have the figure hey, why i have the figure because I, I, I want to review the figure and they, they send me the figure. I paid like everyone. Exactly. Um, okay, so Viper did say that, uh, say that about uh, uh, Batman. Uh, they also they, uh, There was also a question asking what would be the next figure to be announced. And Viper said it should be uh, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter uh, franchise, the next one. Uh, there was also other question about uh, what was the progress about Zixia. It's the it's the character from Chinese Odyssey that before they showed some accessories, and uh, Viper said he's still under official uh, supervision and licensor. Um, they were also asked uh, about um, the one six scale bail, the Christian bail from Dark Knight. If there is a exact release date, uh, Viper said um, uh, no, not yet, and not sure if it will be within uh, this year. Um, and they were also asked if they were going to do a Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, so the person asked, "Are you going? Are you going to do the Catwoman from Dark Knight Rises? Because you already have the mold, because they did the Catwoman in the Bat Pod." Um, and Viper said uh, they definitely won't use the same mold to make it. They are going for sure to do the Catwoman, and it will be an improvement uh, from the last one. Um, what did they ask? Ah, they did ask what would be the leg, the next, um, the next Lord of the Ring, uh, uh, Lord of the Rings figure to be announced, and Viper said it would be uh, Legolas. What more was um, there was other one ah, about Paul Atreides, the Dune. I don't know because I feel a bit confused uh, and I may have lo a, a bit lost in translation because um, they were asking if he was going, if he was considering to use UV light in uh, Paul uh, Atreides' uh, eyes. And Viper was explaining that in the still shots they have uh, he cannot find that uh, Paul has uh, the uh, shining eyes the only thing they could do uh, uh, and they were think they are thinking in doing is to do a blue eyeball but this was just a thought because then the collectors would need to remove the what the eyeball from uh, Paul and then insert a blue eyeball and they don't want to risk that because we can break the mechanism and everything. So, from what I understood, I think they are they are very willing to do some changes to Paul. Maybe do a second head sculpt with a with the blue eyes. So uh, let's see what we are going to to what we are going to check about that. Uh, there was also a question that I forgot to mention was about the. Um, wait a moment. Wait. A Oh, he's off. Somebody's there, but somebody's yeah. there. It's so exciting. Christian, 
you've got this June figure on pre-order. Mm -hmm. Does it matter to you about the blue eyes or not? Is that like something that you think is essential? Okay, at this point, I'm gonna... I'm gonna consider the spoiler thing kind of safe. So, I think everybody's kind of... Kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. So, yeah, the blue eye is the whole... The biggest change from the part one and part two. When he kind of gets his... Tick. Or his kick, or whatever. So, it's, it's essential. It is, it is. And the possibility of a second sculpt for the part two is exciting. But the thing is, if they do go that route, they they need to add like more clothing and, and some other stuff. And how they'll do, do that is going to be tricky. So I don't know. It's up to them. It's really up to them. Because I, I don't see them just doing the sculpt and done. That, that, that's going to be that's gonna be for the re representation for part two. So I don't think that's going to work. You You're are muted. Me, you are muted. There was also other stuff you was talking about. The, um, you were saying that they were improving so much their paint application that you will start to see a difference that when you zoom in, with your phone or with the DSLR camera into the eyes, you will be able to see way more details than you ever saw in a one six scale uh, eyes. They are they are really and they are and he was saying that all the eyeballs are going to be hand painted. So I really don't know how how all long time art. this will take. All shut up, Christian. Art. Shut up, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What a, what a shame. Uh, oh, dude, are... you're harsh. <laughs> Didn't they uh, also Dylan say saying... they were going to do a um, Christian Bale Batman in a suit? Exactly. They also said they would do yeah. Christian Bale in suit. Exactly. He, he yeah. also said. I'm turning into Ron Blue, still no Gandalf. So many people are waiting for Gandalf. For P.T. Words, Jay-Z. Uh, Punisher XS, how are you, my friend? Um, Brenda's got Brenda Gandalf will start leaning before I get mine. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that. Uh, TX Boy 210, be like Ronin when you see updated photos. Don't give me hope that my piece will ship. Um, EDR, my Joker fell in uh, cracked legs, cracked so I can connect food. Should I look for a new in art body? Jesus, the Good leg us. cracked. It's not easy to find the in art body because they are not like available everywhere. Could you try to contact the store where you bought from and maybe check if you could get they could get a body directly from in art? That would be the best way because yeah. um, I don't I cannot see other way unless Bob Dylan has some idea. Um, Jay Z Legolas, let's go. Tremble has to be right back. Uh, take your time. Everyone is here happy for Legolas. He's saying means Legolas will get this 2026, 2027. Ooh. And that's a very Ooh. early uh, wish. I would put <laughs> more two years on that. My Gandalf is shipping today, finally, Peter. Oh, cool. Nice. Any clue when Aragorn will be begin shipping? Uh, Sims Viper was talking about quarter three. I don't know if quarter three for reviewers is uh, Q1 for uh, public next year. Mm. TX boy um, in the long run. I uh, TX boy. I did. I don't have any problem with my bodies until now. I don't know if, but this we, we like you said. We 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 still need time. The Nerys. I I didn't hear anything. <laughs> One six scale of tomology. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Agent Silver Fox in Al's Ian. How are you? Yeah, uh, bro. Watch uh, then one and two in the same day. What a movie! I still didn't watch the is. second one. You still and the more the, the more days passed, the less <laughs> the less feeling I have to watch it. He had a vision in the first movie, and we do so we do see blue eyes. So technically, they could. Oh, they could. They could what use the UV? No, because like he did have kind of like blue eyes in the first movie, so it would kind of work without the okay, extra clothing okay. and then all that 
uh, Rob Rod asking a big member of the channel, Big Brother, who takes longer to deliver in art or mod UKs? I think in art. I think so. <laughs> I don't I know. So. Inart takes their time. I don't know. Uh, my beard will be as long as Gandalf by the time I get my. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That Joker 4 pack will take five that's years to release. I don't mind. I don't mind. Let them take their time because that's so <laughs> expensive. <laughs> I don't need to pay that that fast. Um, or you bought from Spec Fiction. I think Spec Fiction has. Um, then you'll be fine. Spec Fiction has a directly contact with Inart. Um, so I think I think if you contact them, even if if you say if, if they actually you don't need the whole body, they can send you just a, a leg, and then you can just assemble the leg. You don't need the full body. Uh, Akira Dune, a great movie for napping. I oh, don't mention the first movie, one of the best naps I ever had. How for dare two you. Can I ban times. him? But then when I watch the movie, you cannot. I'm. <laughs> but then when I watch the movie. Uh, the last time I really enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the movie the last time. My dad will come back with the milk first and my figure. <laughs> oh my god. I hate to admit it. This is why I ordered the, the Doom figure day one. <laughs> like, I, I want it at least maybe within like, you know, two months after the blogger or reviewer batch comes out. Wait. Apparently, apparently. Yeah, okay. um, apparently. Ah, this is these people are funny. Um, but let's see, let's see, let's see because first we need to have Batman out, and um, <laughs> and that, that we will see how, how that will rule out because we are. They said March, we are on March twenty second. There are not much more time to to go on with this. Um, yeah, contact with them. Uh, Can I ask let me a see question? It? that may mm -hmm. be a dumb question, but I'm going to uh -oh. ask anyway. So next week in Australia is like Easter. So they have public holidays for Good Friday and Easter Monday. Do you guys have any kind of public holiday or is it business as usual? Because I'm just thinking if they're sending figures to somewhere like Australia, those public no, even, holidays but would even, delay their arrival. Even if we, even if we have holidays, uh, the children still work in the factory. They don't. They don't. That's there true. Are no holidays but allowances. the children aren't like flying the planes to deliver the figures. Are you to mean the, the express? No, no, no. no. If, if you actually series, go into the cockpit, are, are they're jokes. all children. Shut up. Okay, sure. Not talking serious. <laughs> we have holidays here, uh, April four to six. That catches a bit of midweek, April four to six. But that's it's not the... that's not the. See, so I call it I call it like normal Easter. It's not my Easter. Not, I'm not orthodox. Easter. My Easter's not Easter. later. Not but Easter. You, yeah, Here... but next. But so I'm saying like next week. I'm assuming it's the same for places like England and the US. It's a short week because people don't work on Good Friday. It's a holiday, and then the Easter Monday is a holiday. So I'm just trying to say that's less days for stuff to potentially arrive because of the Easter holidays. I don't know. I have no idea. Here there is no Easter. I can guarantee you that is, is that's not That's what I was just like, asking. I don't know about Korea. I think Korea also knows. Nah. Korea, no, no. They, I think Koreans are also against Easter. Uh, typically everyone celebrates on Easter Sunday yes. for the most part. It's small. Now here we have the the uh, Qingming festival or uh, April 4 to to 6 it's basically the time to go to pray for the ancestors that already pass uh, so it's a 3 days holiday for that um that everyone schools and everything are closed for 3 days um any more any on, any other thoughts or any other things talk about in art since to, since we are since we are on this on this roller coaster yeah we can, we can actually I should I should have jumped on this before because uh, Inart did did a post to, tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, today. Yeah. They did hear a, a post. What did they say? I even I even didn't read because it's it's always the same thing. Let me see. What did they say? We've been receiving your. This. Let me see. 
What did they said? Okay, so in our tier said, um, we've been receiving your concerns regarding the Batman 2022-16 collectible figures, and we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused by the delay. We are happy to announce that shipments for the Batman again figures will commence this month. Additionally, we are excited to share some updates with you, including the introduction of a new sliding magnet track base and enhancements to the figure itself. Keep an eye out for updates on Facebook or in and Instagram. So we'll commence this month. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because this Batman, this Batman, how many different, how many different variations are this Batman? You got Batman sculpted along, Batman rooted along, Batman sculpted with Robert Pattinson, Pattinson sculpted, be, uh, then rooted with rooted, then Bat Signal. I don't know how many screws are. This is I huge. Think there's five, yeah. There's five, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bob Dylan, do you make here a very good question? And I hope it's not what I'm expecting. I was gonna what ask. I'm thinking. Because they mentioned here. Um, a sliding magnet track base. I think what will be is that the magnet is attached to the platform and the magnet of the base will slide according where you where you use the feet. Means that the magnet will follow the feet. The, the, the shoes. I don't know. Because on my Joker, what happened on my Joker, and I noticed last week, was that because jo the joker base have two magnets one of the magnets probably lost the glue and went to join the other magnet now i have two magnets in one position and i the joker cannot st cannot um, stand up in the base because the f the both fits are going into the same place they want to stay together with the magnets uh, but I need to find a solution for it. Maybe I need to open that base. Uh, so Batman will moonwalk before he goes into the smooth criminal lean. Exactly. exactly he does a moonwalk trying, and then poof. I'm trying to imagine how that's going to be an advantage for moving magnets. Like, wouldn't you want your figure to kind of be fixed in a position? And now you have a magnet that's moving. It's, it, is that, yeah, a, in the house. is that better? I don't know. I don't know. Batman collectibles. I think, I look forward I to think Inna just needs Batman to do a Bob Dylan and fill that base with magnets that are static. So then yeah. you can move it around the base and know that all of the base is magnetic. Or what I would like, which I think they've said they're not going to do, I still don't get why they can't provide an option where if you want you could put a crotch grabber because i use crotch grabber for my joker i don't trust the magnets um sure he's having fun um but yeah I, I think the way bob did it where he opened up the base and just put a ton of magnets in it i feel like that's that's the better way to do it like i would just worry like that static magnets haven't worked moving magnets like i don't get i don't get how they would I just don't, I just can't picture how that would even work. I honestly think they would, they really need to kind of open the uh, option to at least add a crotch grabber, an art crotch grabber. Like, I feel like this magnet, magnet base is not that working well. So, like, I think you guys really should really kind of think about it. Not working as well as you guys thought but uh i'm sorry i'm trying i'm trying to read the comments it's awkward silence <laughs> when I, i'm trying here to check anything that i can find about sliding magnets but it seems there's nothing I Enough. mean, even with the sliding magnets, the uh, the moving area would be restricted anyway. So, like Helen said, you know, go the with only the Bob way Dylan that the uh, uh, the only th way that the sliding magnet will work is if the the if they do a base 
and they have a kind of profile a channel that there's the only part where the magnet will slide like a u a u channel mm -hmm. and the magnet is the magnet is inside that the the u shaped channel is locked there but the magnet can move um, sideways that's that's the only way it will work because then when you put the feet on the base and then you kind of can move the the feet to the sides and the magnet will follow because the magnet is locked into that that uh, profile that channel profile and it will it will work that way actually that i should open a patent for this because just now i got a great idea <laughs> do a you do a you profile channel go go magnet, what are you doing put the magnet inside the magnet will only will only be able to to run in that channel in the under that in that channel that would be amazing i need to contact kit after this okay so gym collector saying i want what the hell you are <laughs> eating a banana in the stream Jesus. You do you, Christian. You do you. What, you want one? I'll, I'll send you one. Decency. Uh, I wonder if it will be limited to just lateral movement on the sliding movements like on runners. Exactly. Or it will be free than like on runners. Runners are in the channel. Jose Hernandez in the house. Morning, fellas. Tell me six musics of Kurt Cobain. Rob Rod, a translation. Your Batman are going to take even longer to deliver. <laughs> Maybe. Toy Quest in the house, Miguel. How are you, Yo. Miguel? My good friend. Now all compasses in my house point to the Joker. I, I, I believe because so many magnets. <laughs> oh, the Penguin TV show official, official teaser drops. Really? Oh, amazing. Oh, cool. Excuse you. Are you okay? Is your heart? I'm having some hiccups and you... You guys don't help me. You just stay silent looking at me. No, I was worried because, um, like, you know, with your age and everything. Dude! So what? You <laughs> thought I was going to have a stroke in a, in a stream? Jesus Christ. I was worried and was eating the banana looking at me. Why oh, is having a stroke? I'm worried. <laughs> Let me eat my banana. Yeah, I was, I was here eating. in do, South do I Korea. Stop eating? Nah, he's fine. Funny to see that the collectors that have these pieces still have a decent sense of humor with them. I know we all kid at times, but this should be addressed for that premium price completely. I, I completely agree with you. We are here joking in a, about the two, a $1,000 two-pack jokers with things that should not be joking because it's a lot of money, it's true. But it's because of jokes like this and because sometimes we are so complacent with these things that companies can, can do whatever they want and... And the things just slide through, right? Um, I will say that Magneto doesn't have a magnetic base. You can do one. Um, He's got the magnet hand effects, doesn't he? Yeah. I was uh, TX boy. I was hoping for a dark mask sculpt out and masked head sculpt. 97 show was so good. Brought it here while watching. So many good memories growing up. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christian today was asking us to watch that. I still need to see kind of a recap before going into the 97 show because it's it's been years um we need a, an I'll impressed watch. emoji of christian eating a banana i do have one of him eating a banana i don't know i i don't know Sorry. if i can share that i can share you that are. photo eh? no the one you are eating a banana cannot no okay. you can no you can but it, it kind of looks... eating... but now it's not time it looks... for it we are we are it in looks very stream. creepy Penguin teaser. I need to see that penguin teaser. I need to see. Just don't look up while eating that thing, Christian. <laughs> yeah, please don't look up. It will look very Wait, awkward. Wait, hold up. I, I thought you don't watch trailers. What what happened? No. Penguin Penguin is, is ah, up there for me. He's way up there for me. Okay, okay. No chance I'm not going to watch that. I want to zoom out and I cannot watch this. Wait a moment. Okay. Ghostbusters fans worldwide. This page should be called <laughs> "We Hate Ghostbusters." Jesus, this <laughs> really. I, I yesterday I, I I got out of this page because you cannot say anything bad about the new movie. Everyone goes up on flames, and this this has been like this since Ghostbusters fans worldwide. If you guys want to laugh a bit, just go to this page and you would see. Um, 
So the I want to show here is the the drifter from present toys. So currencies are no. Jesus, everyone got their joker. Okay, here we have the motorcycle uh, clothing, uh, the clothing set by Present Toys. We we can disregard the, the head sculpt because it's, the head sculpt is not coming here. Uh, I don't think it was the best idea for Present Toys to tackle this because um, Topo is doing it. And um, I think if, if you are collecting these sets, for example, like Helen is... Helen already got stuff from Topo. I think we are all excited to get that Topo one because we know that it will be better quality. Um, I would not say a better body. I think the body they use is basically the same, but at least it would be a more fitted uh, um, uh, set than the present toys one. But we need to wait and see, uh, see what is the price for the Topo one, see the Present Toys one. Present Toys probably can also do a very good, a very good piece here. The problem is that I'm almost 500% sure that Topo one will, will come. They will release it, they will do a second batch, they will do a third batch and Present Toys still in, in production of this, of this thing. <laughs> Because the present toys is way way back, um, but I don't know. Uh, let me just say hello here to Red Deadpool Red Suit. Hi, how comes live streaming on Friday instead of Thursdays? I forgot to address that in the um, in the beginning. Uh, from from now on, we we are changing uh, always for Fridays because of our work schedule. It's very difficult to do on Thursdays because we need to wake up on Fridays uh, early in the morning. And normally we stream until late. For example, at this moment here is almost is already 11:15. For Ellen, the same, and for Christian is already midnight. Um, is already a quarter past midnight. Uh, so we decided to change uh, the Collectors Unite show for Fridays. This way, we can st stay more time if we need or not. But anyway, we don't need to worry that we need to work tomorrow. We need to wake up early uh, tomorrow. It's Saturday for us. So. Uh, just to let you all know that from our one uh, Collectors Unite will move to Fridays. It will be the same time, uh, 10 a.m. EST, 10 p.m. for me in China, 11 p.m. for Christian, and of course 10 p.m. also for um, Allison. Uh, Jose Hernandez saying uh, it's just a teaser trailer, so Joan should be okay. Yeah, if it's just a teaser, it should be okay. I would like to play the the, the, the teaser here, but I think I, I think I cannot because it will be no. uh, copyrighted at once, yeah. especially if there is music or something like that. But um, Helen, um, what what are you what are you your thoughts about this motorcycle clothing by Present Toys? Are you going to get a top one, or are you getting uh, getting both, or none none of them? Um, I'm actually thinking of getting the Topo one just because I think it would be handy for kit bash parts and pieces later on. Um, so I know Topo's made some updates to theirs. They talked about they've made the jacket a bit darker. And I believe theirs comes with a baseball hat as well, which is something that I don't think this present toys one comes with. Um, I'm pretty sure the Topo pre-orders are opening at the end of the month and they are pretty quick at getting stuff out. So um, it's interesting. I'm kind of surprised another company is tackling this. And as you've mentioned, Joe, our present toys aren't exactly the quickest in releasing things. So I kind of feel like if you're wanting something sooner than later, Topo is probably the way to go. Uh, but that's the thing with the Topo suits. They do a really great job. Um, the clothes just sit very nicely on the body. Sometimes with these clothing kits, you have to find your own body. So I think it's great. I think both, does this come with the body as well? I feel like both of them come with the yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, it, it does come with the which body. Which is great. We can, Cause you I can think see that's it. half yeah, the this, challenge sometimes. But this is, this is, the, this is the cheapest body you, you can get. Yeah. This is the body they will ship with this. Yeah, I don't know that the Topo one's that better. And the one thing with those Topo um, hands normally is that they're very shiny, but I think they're doing the same hands with the wraps on them. So hopefully they'll be a bit better quality than what they normally have um, on their suited uh, figures that come with bodies. But 
yeah, as I said, I've got, God, four maybe different outfit sets from Topo and the quality on all of them has been fantastic. So for me, I don't think I've ever bought anything from Present Toys. So I'd always lean a bit more towards Topo. Um, and as I said, I think they've got a couple of extra parts. I know they're definitely doing a baseball bat. Yep, they've updated some yeah, of their pieces the, as well the, too. The backpack from, from Topo. This is other brand is Topo. They got the yep. baseball hat. Uh, here is the, the boots. They are showing you the design of the boots the renderings um but they do they do reply here to some questions uh which are very cool for from them yeah um they say here this question how can we put the cap on the head and sopo say don't worry we will take care of it and it can be worn cool. um actor was asking here is a question as far as fitting for the cap and wood will you be using measurements based on hot toys head sculpt and they said, yes, currently the situation is that we can only measure the size based on the heads of the hot toys. However, if an art shipment is made, we can also modify the size of the head and adjust the connection between the head and body based on an art's head. So, it's, uh, it's, so it's cool. Does that yeah, mean they're they are making... very good at getting back to people. And Derek here was asking, is your set be clothing only or clothing and figure? Also, with your set come with hands, which they said, clothing, body, baseball cap, riding boots, hands, and backpack. So, uh, yeah, all cool. of their all of their more recent stuff comes with the clothes on the body. I think they're older outfit sets like the bank robber Joker and the Ben Affleck Bruce Wayne. They were just clothing sets. You had to find your own body. You had to do all of that. But all of their recent ones come already dressed. So it's very easy to just put on the head sculpt that you want and off you go. And they are doing also a Walter White here. Mm. Oh, interesting. This is the... the um, let me see. The sculpt. Oh, this looks good. But probably this is only the outfit, right? Yeah, it's only the yeah, outfit. Yeah, pretty sure. Mm. Yeah, cool. Cool. Now at least we got two. We got two options for this. Um, this. Uh, this Batman. This Drifter. Um, it will be interesting to see which one. Which one would be. Would be. Would be better. Um, in another news, and uh, because. Le but before, let me just uh, check here with the with the with the chat because. Um, TX boy saying, sounds good, I will tell my boss going forward, I will be off on Friday going forward because I have to catch the lives. Love you guys. Thank you so much, TX boy. Uh, Bob Dylan, I already replied that. Actually, Topo replied that just now. Uh, they said they will do the measurements that it will fit. Six Girl Gallery in the house. How are you? The Bale Bruce Wayne set from Topo was excellent. So I have high hopes for their Pattinson outfit. They made some more detailed hands also, which are really nice. Cool. Yeah, Angels. they're also doing um, John Wick hands with the ring. And I know someone already asked them in the comments, are you going to do a version that doesn't have the ring finger? And they said yes. So I'm very excited for those for my um, John Wick kit bashes. Are they sure? are doing the ring finger? They're doing the hands with the ring. And then the first set they showed had all the fingers. And someone said, will you do one where... It you know, he cuts his finger off and they said, yes, we'll do that too. So they'll do two versions, which is cool. I was not expecting to show you these, but these appear just now on my Facebook feed and these looks amazing. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer from the Batman Returns. Wow. Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. Look at this. Huh. Who's, who's this? My, who's Sup? Is that the name of the company? No, 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 no. This is a, um, this is um, a custom. Oh, it's a by it's it's by uh, uh, Shin Debs, uh, Shin Debs. Uh, Bob Dylan know him, and uh, the painting is by Viola Wittrocker. They are they do amazing stuff. The two of them. Um, she does amazing Bob's painting, and said, Shin does. I'll be getting yeah. her soon. This looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Of course you oh. are, Bob. Of course. <laughs> Let me see. I want to share with you guys because I well, I want to get with that um, with that question just now. But I don't know if this is already over on Facebook. Uh, 
I don't know if Star Wars, Star Wars Toys already... Okay, here we are. So Star Wars Toys is doing the Ghostbusters. And now we already know why they were doing the monsters uh, in um, one eight scale. It's because they are going to do the Ghostbusters exactly in the one eight uh, scale. But these are not figures. These are polyresin statues. Um, I don't know if they have the license. Why are they going to do one eight scale statues? And they are both in this. They are in this pose so strange, and uh, and I don't like these these likeness at all. No. Mm -hmm. This looks my, like my like my uncle. No, no, this is not a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Sorry. This is what I uh, don't get with Star Race though, because they also got the licenses back in the day for CW Arrow and Flash, and I remember at the time. Because I didn't know what Star Race was back then, so forgive me, everyone. I was like, "Cool, finally some licensed figures of these shows that I like." And then, yeah, they wheeled out this one-eighth scale stuff, and I'm like, "Is that a prominent scale, or is that just like a Star Race thing?" Because I would have thought if you were doing something from a popular IP, wouldn't you want to use more common scales that a lot of people collect? Because I think some people are mindful of the size and okay if i get these how will they look in my display if i've got quarter scale and six scale stuff i've just never quite understood why they do this size I, I it's really not don't even know. a figure i really know this is not a fit it's just a poly resin statue yeah. you cannot do anything with it it's a very weird choice is it possible is it possible that um that um they don't have license for one six scale. That's what I'm guessing. I but, don't know. But who has him though? Who is holding the keys? You know it. Angel Spooky. The present toys Ghostbusters figures. What do I think? I think at this point in time. You don't have any alternative because uh, the Blitzway ones are very difficult to find. If you want to complete them all, if you want to buy the four pack, the prices on eBay are outrageous. It's incredible the prices that the four pack goes. So at this moment, the present toys. It's the only option you have until other company uh, decides to, to, to do them. Mm -hmm. If ever. If ever. Even in last, in the la in the um, let's say, if even if you get the present toys ones, I think they will do the suits more or less acceptable, the proton packs passable. Even if the head sculpts are not amazing, you can always... Uh, send the head sculpts for a repaint to touch up the paint application look a bit better so i know they are expensive because even these present toys if you buy the four it's eight hundred dollars plus but there is no other option at this moment there's no one other option at this moment um jb say needs a custom motorcycle helmet what color was paris a motorcycle helmet do you guys remember black uh, yeah i thought it was just black because m toys did a, a helmet a motorcycle for bane but that one was red but that is difficult oh. to uh, easy to change using magnets uh in the vest is way better than button pops or claps that pop toys use i'll be getting her soon because actually i was reading here the comments and uh, boblin was saying that that's his own copy oh, that we geez. were showing we are just showing a Bob Dylan copy on stream. Sorry, Bob, awesome. if you would tell me before, I would not show. Um, do I need to pay royalties? Um, <laughs> Man of Hot Collectibles in the house. Dante, how Yo. are you, my friend? Good morning to you. I think you should be at work. But welcome, welcome. And JB is also in the house. He say he got the mech ready from Viola and Shins. Now, they do amazing work, the two of them. Amazing, amazing work. Um... Uh, TX was saying the bases are a nice touch, not bad for the scale. 
recently picked up, picked up a couple of 110s, don't want to go deep into it though. Yeah, uh, if you if you are used to 1.6, it's difficult to go back to smaller scales. But then say, saying that no, Ellen 1.8 is not popular, it's just that we finally shame them out of 1.6, I don't think so. Deadpool Red Suit says is a license issue. And there's a 1.8 scale Ecto-1 vehicle to match the Star Wars fi Star Wars figures. Is that there is? I don't know if it's from Hot Wheels or which one. I know there is an Ecto-1, uh, a 1.8 scale. Here comes this guy. Only option, but not a good one. How can you know it's not a good one if they were not released yet? You are talking about the present toys, uh, Ghostbusters. That's a fair point. You need to wait, my friend. You need to wait. You cannot, you cannot uh, 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 talk so so many crap about uh, third parties when you have gambits and you have uh, 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 poo poo toys in your shelf. So don't 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 come here. <laughs> don't come here with your ideas. Which um, is classy. Oh, you are off today. So we always we always need a break. You always need a break. You work hard. You work hard. Um, I advise and I could see the protos. Okay, okay, Michael. Uh, you do you. <laughs> okay, we can we can we can go now to the main topics. Uh, Marco, thanks for for being here. You know I love you. Um, Collectors unite uh, topic ideas. Uh, we got two main topics. One is uh, was mine that we already talk, and here we have um, a topic that Helen brought to us. This kind of kind of. Oh, not this. Was it Helen or was it Allison? It was Ellen. Uh, Allison, I don't want to st uh, talk about the topic she, she mentioned here. Uh, what like... Jesus, oh, what like on. would you like? Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what line would you like no, no. Pono to tackle? was what I thought might be an interesting topic because we talked about Magneto. Thank you, Judge Joao. Um, we talked about Magneto last week and Hot Toys made a reference to the fact that it was like an entry-level figure. And we said, well, what do we think an entry-level figure means? And we kind of talked about the fact that you wouldn't have rolling eyeballs. It wouldn't be multiple head sculpts. There wouldn't be an excessive deal of accessories. So it made me think that perhaps there's some lines that would be quite popular and have a lot of nostalgia for people that it might be interesting for Hono to tackle. So I had two that I thought of because there'd be no likeness rights and also I don't think they need to come with a huge deal of accessories. So my two lines that I would like to see Hono tackle are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and oh, Batman please, the yes. Animated Series. I think those two lines hey, would be very popular. Don't come with that. A lot of great characters. Because I know for me, for example, like I'd love to have some of the things like a Harley Quinn, a Riddler, all these characters, but none of the movie ones that have been made really tick the box for me. Whereas something based on Batman the Animated Series, that would be quite cool because it's not tied to an actor, their likeness. You might not like that actor and therefore not want the figure. So I thought like Hono actually, I think, has some potential to do some really cool lines. And they're two that I thought if they went into either of those, I, I think I'd be qu quite interested in buying them. You you mentioned their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah, but that would be the comic version, right? Why not the cartoon version? The cartoon versions, yes, but the cartoon ver the cartoon versions is impossible. They will never do that. You never know. You never know. It's a wish list. What would you like them to do? I think both of those would be really popular. I think there's a lot of people that really like Batman the animated series, and I think it's the kind of line that could be quite extensive for them there's a lot of characters they could draw on and the other one you said was what batman the animated series okay those those two are cool uh for me and this is a long shot because this will never happen i know it's um masters of the universe oh cool i would love hono to make that 
Mondo is doing, yes, very limited, very expensive. They are pushing the prices on that figure that it's already completely stupid. I'm sure Hono would do a classic line, Masters of the Universe. Not, not uh, all of the figures, but the main figures. I would love to have a, um, a Filmation Heman, a Skeletor, Man at Arms, Tila, um, the, the, um, the Beast Man. Uh, that uh, all, all, all of them. I, w I would love to have that. Uh, I think it's a, a line that Ono really could tackle. Uh, uh, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would like if they went with the classic cartoon ones. The classic, the 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 the, the first cartoon, not the 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 the, yeah. the, the other other stuff they that making. Or even if they make the the from the new movie. The new movie, the turtles, they are younger, they are they are kind of cool, they are all those hipster turtles, they are cool. Um what more? What other lines I would like to see? Um I wouldn't mind if uh, Hono ever um decided to do Thundercats because it was something that I was really into when I was young. That's Thundercats was was really cool. Um, yeah, Thundercats. I would, I would like, I would like that. Um, but Christian, uh, what Korean uh, cartoon you would like to have from, uh, from, uh, from Korean Hono? Korean cartoon. Doraemon. What? Doraemon is Korean. I know Japanese. I don't even know what you're talking about. But there's a lot of Korean companies doing all these Korean IPs, and I don't want to see Hot Toys doing them. It's, no, it's, it's, it's useless. I want to see them tackle the Tekken not Street Ooh. Fighter Tekken you know the, the oh, game Tekken. Tekken yeah Tekken I even don't remember which 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 fighters were there in Tekken I remember I played Tekken 5 or something like that right now it should be Tekken 9 is it I don't know but it's yeah, a fun I'm all game. what you want well Korean go on no, I just said I'm old. Nothing more. <laughs> you, no, you said you, you knew what, what I wanted. I just want to hear what that character was. No, you but it's only guess. that, only Tekken, nothing more. I, oh, no, no, I, no, I no. really don't know which, which characters are from Tekken. I, I, I thought you knew. The... I thought you knew. I thought you no, knew, no, 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 no. I, I want to see them do Tekken because, you know, the licensing is going to be really easy. Like, it's a very action figure, figure doable characters uh from star wars i want to see them do uh star wars visions oh, okay. i know helen you have no idea what i'm talking about but i know at least joelle does like th these are like cartoonish characters and i want to see them do like hono style and like, it's, it'll be affordable and i don't think anyone's gonna well somebody will but i don't want to pay like what 300 for something out of cartoon like from uh, visions at least so i, I want to see something like that from hono but i think with this hono line hot toys made a very smart move uh, business wise anything cartoonish would do well i think as long as they don't do any any like um lifelike i think they'll be fine the ronin from first episode of visions. yeah exactly mm. but, but yeah bob you know exactly yeah, there are a lot of, of stuff that Hono actually can do. Um, Tremble Dust, you are way, way back, Jesus. You are still watching the, the Star Race Ghostbusters. You are way, way back. But uh, I'm here, I'm supporting you. I think if you you can catch us. <laughs> um, let me let me think. I don't know if we have, uh, anyone in the chat one one chime in which, which kind of figures you would like to see. 90s cannot because uh, the 90s is the movie is the you are talking about the movie the movies i don't know if that entered into the cartoonish style but no because that's more realistic but i think they could do it they still can do it a more because they still turtles right it's still a, a very i would like to see that but jesus that's that's It'll be uh, interesting just, to see okay, Hot Toys 
doing Dragon Ball. No, that would be Ono. Never got Hot Toys. That's too yeah. I mean, like I mean, for, I mean, like Hono. Like yeah. I mean, like. Now, what's this Hono Gacha Gacha man? I I have no idea. I need to search. I, I now I'm. I don't know what Hono that gacha is. Man. What's this? Even I don't know. No, but we, who, that's why we are always learning. If if you don't don't search, then you you never know. Oh, I remember these. Gotcha. Jesus, I remember this when I was a kid. I never knew this was the, the name. Let's see it. Care to share? Let's Shh. see it. Oh, hello. Shh. Is this really or not? Like that. Oh, Christian, you will never remember this. Why you want to see? Even if Ellen remembers, do you remember this, Ellen? I know this. Oh no! What is this? I think is this that JB is talking because I... now, now I I'm remembering this when I was very very young. Let me see. Which I didn't this? know his English name was Gotcha Man. This is not. Uh, that's not the English name. English name is Sci Science Ninja Team. Oh. What? Science Christian. Ninja Team? Science yes, Ninja Science team. Ninja Team. I don't know that this ever made its way to Australia. No, I'm sure that these... South Korea made. In South, South Korea, Korea made. It is a very Korean cartoon. I'm very surprised you guys know this. In South Korea, this team is commonly known as the Eagle Five Brothers. Yeah. Although some fans will like to joke and point out how not all of them are eagles nor brothers. Interesting. But Very you've seen interesting. This? I remember this. Is... How the hell did you see this? I don't know. I, I just remember this. Did you go to North Korea? No. Uh, Neka did a great job with the one four and one twelve. Oh, no, completely. That turtles are beautiful. Gilbert saying I will love some high quality street sharks. Oh, I remember also street sharks. Uh, Diablo Fett also want the running. Keith Lee, I kind of want to wait for Topo to announce so I can compare the differences. You are way back, my friend. Having options means collectors win, indeed. Gacha Man Battle of the Planets. Um, Thundercats. Yeah, Thundercats. Note, if either set option comes with a body, it must be geared towards the Hot Toys head sculpt more neck. Since in art hasn't been released. Yeah, uh, Topo already said that. And you are way back. But you know, sorry, I'm behind. But I'm, I'm replying to you. It's uh, the consideration I have for all my viewers. I still reply for the ones that are, that are on the way back. Um... Uh, Stone collectibles are doing them, but would be cool to see what Hono can do. Oh, okay. Uh, Tremble does say he collect one one twelve and one six. Okay, you are you are behind. You are with Keith Lee. You are you are in the same you are in the same track with him. You are way way back there. Um, Winman forty two. Isn't this a Japanese anime? Yeah, I watched as a kid in America. Exactly, I remember to watch this in Portugal in Europe when I was uh, very young. I remember this, this thing appeared in some channel and and here and there. At that at that time, you didn't have an option to choose between forty channels. You 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 had three or four channels to choose, and you could not choose what what show you want to see. The show that was on is the show that you can see. There was no no there was no options. I'm so surprised it's not like you guys you... know this. I, I always thought it was a very Korean local cartoon. But he's not Korean, he's Japanese. I thought it was Why Korean keeps... though. You even don't know what Korean does. You are you are you know so much about this that you thought this was Korean. Yeah, I thought it was Korean. Jesus Christ. Wow. What oh no, okay. I, I I think I got all wrong. I think this is what <laughs> this is what JB wanted. And I stumbled uh, upon that thing that is the same name. Gacha Man series artwork Battle of the Planets. Is this what he wants? And 
these I have no idea what this oh. is. First time I, I'm seeing this. I have no idea what. Yeah, this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this would align that uh, on a Wudu. Um, Winman, it was called something different, but I remember it too. All X Men says uh, Tremble Dust. I have spoken. Yeah, the X Men. I think X Men is a line that Hono will will really go with. They're gonna go deep. Now, we. I think we are going to jump ship to other other topic. Battle of the Planets, and then was G Force. Let me see here. Um, the other topic that was a, a topic brought uh, by our uh, um, our Christian, and the topic is no more, no less than uh, this one. Uh, about the market situation that we have in Asia. So, the topic is warning signs of chase figures in Asia. Uh, can you, do you want to elaborate on this or? It's, it's as what it says, but I never thought this day would never come. And I am seeing some I never of thought bigger. this day would never come. I, I, I thought it would never come, but like... So you never thought, you thought this not... I yeah. never thought this day would never come. Okay. Just Joao, but... Uh, yeah, couple of figures seem to be very difficult to find here. Which is odd because everything is sitting, everything is bargain bin. Uh, I'm not. It's, it's there's no exclusions, and I talked about this. I think a couple of streams ago when Helen was searching for the uh, Yelena and um, what Kate was the Bishop. Kate Bishop. And then Joel asked me, like, he's trying to find the uh, Grand Inquisitor and Reva, which is kind of, kind of really impossible to find it over there. But it's apparently kind of semi-available still here in Korea. And that got me thinking, I might really need to change my uh, mentality towards all this bargain binning, you know, all these hot toys equals bargain bins, because... I know within the, uh, the over the uh, North America and everywhere else, like, because SciShow is kind of giving the notion that these things are not heavily mass produced and people are picking them up. I know the eBay prices have been very um, crazy lately, but Asia was always in the uh, realm where nothing really sells out. Everything sits, everything bargain bins. But I feel like there's growing numbers of figures that gives me uh, the warning signs that I shouldn't say no to everything if I want something that I really don't want to miss out, even though it's not exclusive, it's a regular release or announcement. I feel like I should be more on alert if that makes any sense but like helen you're on a uh, kind of vague territory because you're kind of in asia but you're not in you know like the the sideshow territory not not really so you know we've been talking and i've kind of tried to uh get you the uh, yelena and kate bishop and th th this whole kind of mm, uh, I don't want to... This happening that's kind of being seen, does that give you any, like, alert or anything? Or is it still, like, everything okay? Yeah, it's it's interesting because I feel like... Um, oh, sure, he's very active today. Sorry, folks. Um, I feel like we're in a totally different scenario in Australia compared to the rest of the world because we do get figures a lot later than other places, like sideshow gets their stuff they're probably sending it to their us customers and then what they'll do is they'll bundle up a whole heap of releases and then send them to pop culture so for us when it rains it pours you don't get this drip feed of this figure this week and that figure that week you'll get nothing and then let's say after six or eight weeks it's like 
here's 10 figures of hot toys and I always feel for the people who collect Star Wars because they'll suddenly have six invoices they need to pay off and they're not cheap in Australia. So we're a little bit different where I don't think the urgency to pre-order is maybe there and I don't think the scarcity is there for us yet because um, I think for a lot of people who've missed out, places like pop culture have almost become like the safety net of if I can't get it through Sideshow, I can probably get it in Australia through pop culture. So for me, my attitude around pre-ordering is if it's stuff that I 100% know I want, that I feel like the value will remain. So things like the 89 Batmobile, the 89 Batman, um, the Endgame Scarlet Witch, they're all things that I'm quite happy to pre-order because I feel like don't think the price is going to tank on those. I think they're going to be highly sought after. I think there's a possibility they could sell out or be limited. So I've got no problem with that. For other standard releases, things like um, Valkyrie and the Elena and the Kate Bishop, they're things that are going to sit around. Guaranteed. And this has been the interesting thing with pop culture because figures that were not even that old. So things like the reissue of Mech Test Tony, the um, Avengers 4 Loki, Black Widow solo movie, they got reduced in price so quickly. The Johnny Silverhand reduced in price so quickly. The Winter Soldier from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, yeah. The prices have really um, not, not been maintained here. And it's interesting because some people don't want to wait that time to get stuff in Australia. They'll get stuff in Hong Kong. So I do wonder if we're kind of in a bubble because I have to think at some point pop culture is not going to be wanting to reduce these figures. Like a lot of these figures are like $450 to $500 for a pretty standard release and they're dropping them to $299 really quickly. And you can then stack a reward voucher on that. So I could then get that $299 figure for $250. I can't think they're making money on that. I don't know if they're even breaking even at that point. So I think we haven't had that knock-on effect yet in Australia, but I have to think at some point pop culture is going to be a bit like Sideshow. They're not going to want to have to reduce things to move them or the dead stock. So I think it's eventually going to come to us here in Australia, but I think I, I know I personally watch what's happening in overseas markets because I think it's a matter of time before it then filters down to us here. That's 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 a great point, and um, that was actually something that I was not expecting to happen to me here. Um, Grand Inquisitor and Riva, they are available everywhere. I was waiting for the price to go down on them because I have Vader coming. Um, now I, I will get Kenobi. I will. I wanted to get those Inquisitors together. I wasn't even worried about the Purge Trooper because I thought the Purge Trooper, it's a, it's a fear that I can I can get easily. And today, just by by chance, I I, I wanted to check what how, how was Riva prices and Grand Inquisitor for me to start to consider something like that. And. And the, the problem is not the price. The problem is that there's none to be found. I can I could find like one or two listings, and I'm like, but there was hundreds of listings. Where where are these figures going? And my my guess is with the release of uh, Vader, everyone starts to get in the Inqu Inquisitors, and um, and I need to I need to pay more attention to this stuff because. Uh, I'm always very relaxed. I never worry too much, and maybe I, I still need to pay attention. I still think um, we are good. We are not in uh, in the red line, but uh, just pay attention. Be more. Don't. I cannot wait like like before six months until I get a yeah. figure. Maybe now I need to. I need to wait. I need to give the uh, the less time. And when I see some uh, some price going down, just just get it don't don't try to get the two for one discounts um because this this got me by really got me by surprise um got me by surprise and i was not expecting this at all what what's this sound sorry i think that was me oh it was like someone whispering i was like what? sorry what's this 
Um, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't know how, how it'll be from how one. Um, at least the figures that I want to have in the future, I have them all pre-ordered. Uh, it's not like I'm predicting that this will be very limited. Everything I don't think so, but no. I. But I. For the figures I want, I really need to 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 pre-order and just not play the the, the waiting game. Uh, it's what it, that's what it is. No, no other, no other chance. But yeah, now, now I have to we rethink need to see how it my goes. decisions about like all these Ahsoka figures that I just passed on, you know, without any, without any thought. Now, now I have to think about them. Uh oh. Hey. Hello there. Hey. Hello. Hello there. We got here with nice? us Dante, the man of hot collectibles um welcome welcome yeah you are at home today no i'm in my office in new york oh you are in you are okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm off man i need some cool. time off how's everything uh, everything is okay uh how you doing gu guys and girls nice to meet you hello nice to meet you nice to meet you i know already him so christian christian how you remember his name let me just uh, before I ask you here about this. Let me just say hello to Figurecraft uh, because he, he just came here and I forgot to tell him hello. Happy Friday, happy Friday to you, Figurecraft. Uh, saying that his 95 Batmobile ship. Let's cross fingers. Sideshow finally ships Berenson. Uh Yeah, we were talking here about the, the 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 situation here in Asia because I was trying to search for some figures here today. Basically, the Grand Inquisitor and Riva, and um, I could not find them anywhere because they. <laughs> They are difficult to find. So things in Asia are also like changing a bit. Like then I asked Christian and Christian was also telling me that he couldn't find much. He could find, but not much as before. Um, but um, ask him in house already. Yo. Me. But uh, is, the, um, is the situation here. Was not on SBIM stream that someone said that I had the, uh, I had what? I had a, a, a villain voice. Yeah, you had a... Uh... Some kind of a yeah, villain voice, yes. yes. Someone that that uh, personality. No, no, no. Like someone that um, has a, a torture chamber, chamber, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> so it was really funny. Uh, but uh, Dante, I, I don't know if you buy from Sideshow or, or you, you 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 buy more from Comic Concept. You you don't buy much from from Hong Kong like before, but. Um, I don't know if this this worries you or not. I don't think it, it worries you much. Um. Uh, no, well, I I buy from from uh, from Comic Concepts from time to time. I do and do pre uh, you pre order what you need, right? Yeah, I pre order what I need. If I don't pre order something and I want something, I will have to get it. Uh, usually, I get it from Team Sent uh, or One Six K, depending on what that, what that is. Um, mm -hmm. But what warning signs? Are, what, what's going on? Sorry, I miss I miss that. The warning signs is normally there are a lot of stock available after release, right? Oh, okay, okay. But now the things here are are go are disappearing fast. We cannot find stock of of stuff like before, like uh, recently. Mm, so probably that means that they're not making um, many copies as before. You know, they're just making whatever to Maybe. fulfill the pre-orders and just a bit more so they don't have dead stock. So yeah, it can actually make sense. So everything can just sell quick, you know? That's the way to balance the market. Yeah, YGB, I also agree. I, I was checking exactly that, Dante. Your, your microphone is too low. It's too low? Yes. And, and I think you are... I think it's not your microphone connected. Because there's some... Uh, some some background noise like some hissing mm -hmm. All right, let me check. So, some kind of like fan noise i think a fan or a fan noise or a i never hear but this stuff you guys are talking about i do now <laughs> you never hear what whenever you guys are like i hear a noise i hear this i'm like i don't hear what they're talking about I don't know. I was listening. I was listening like it. Yeah. No. By the way, Joel, did you notice I, I repositioned my mic from there to here, 
because it was making your head go crazy. And but I... still not still not perfect because you're still it's very not... far from the microphone and sometimes your voice goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Is not is not balanced. Look at the distance I have my mouth from the microphone. This. This is the distance. Put your hand. Look at that. That is a whole duck peak. We're losing viewers, Joao. <laughs> no, we We're are actually not. Gaining. We are winning. We are gaining viewers. <laughs> because they, they want to know the distance we are from the microphone. Is it better see, now? This is the this oh, is the distance. Let me see. Let is me it see. Better? I have I have background noise, so that's why. But is it better now or still too low? Let me try to fi to fix this for you. Can you speak now? Hi, hi, hi. Speak again. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> now it's cool. Now it's good. I, I think it's better. No, it's good. It's good. So what about now? Is it much now it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Seems all right. Now it's good. It's good. Okay. It's good. Much better. Thank you, guys. Uh, Sorry. No, no, no. I'm cool. Um, actually, let me see here. Increase gain creation. No, don't don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. You will you will just ruin everything. Um, and now now what topics to talk? Because we run out of topics. Did we? No, we didn't talk about some of the third party things. You could ask Dante about our Hono question. There's lots of things we can talk about. Oh, yes. Can you talk about but the you, Terminator? You... What Terminator? Again, the 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 new the new one or that's Present not a reissue because I don't know. The Present toys. That's not a reissue. No, it's not. It's a new. It's a new one. It's from Terminator One. <laughs> I thought it was the same because Kit on the group talked again, and I said, "Oh, they are reissue." Let me see. There's because Kit, I'm gonna talk about it in my stream tonight, though. You are? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about uh, it. So we are not going to talk about about that now. Uh, but we 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 I can ask your opinion here about this that we 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 let's talk, talk about. Uh, let's talk about. Um, what do you want to talk the about? The economy. Okay. Oh, wait, let's wait, talk wait, wait, about life. Wait, wait, let's wait, talk wait, about life. Wait, wait, wait. Did you, Dante? Uh, are you interested about the uh, the Hulk statue that is on? So I, much oh, right I now? saw. I saw that one too. It looks freaking good, man. The Queen Studios, right? Yeah. Silicone articulated. Jesus. It's and exclusive. Deadly. It's limited. Yeah, but uh, it's not available well, here, though. We have to buy it overseas. There's not a, it's, it's 1,500 not like pieces, right? 500. I think it's 500 or 400. 500, uh, really? or 399, some of those two. Is this one, right? Yeah, that one. That one looks sick, man. That I'm not a I'm not into marble, but this one looks freaking sick. It's 4400? Yeah, 4400. Goodness. Wait, it's for, look the, at this. The price is 4400. Damn. Yeah. Yes. How big it is though? It's uh, a one, I know it's what, a one third, so it has to be huge. That's that's what I'm trying to find. Uh, uh the height 92. is 92 centimeters. 92 centimeters. Is that quarter scale then, or third scale? That's no, it's third. third scale. Third. Third scale. Ninety-two centimeters is is big. It's really big. And they're only making two ninety-nine. It's two ninety-nine. Thirty-six. Thirty-six inches. So it's about the same height as, almost the same height as the Predator I have behind me, the Prime One Predator. So it's, it's big. So it's huge, right? It's and huge. you said that. Um, Collectors from Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and Indonesia can order directly from our official store. Oh, let me see if it's still available for pre-order. Just for... Not available in my country. Oh, yeah. I'm using VPN. Of course, it's not available in my country. Wait, it's not available. Korea it's VPN. not available. No, it's not No, because... Wait a minute. Let me trick them. Let me change here to Hong Kong. Hmm. To sh I want to check if still available. Two hundred ninety nine. I would suppose that these are already sold out. 
Okay. But at those here. prices, it'll be tough. Yes, st still here. Deposit payment or full payment. Still here. But this looks incredible, indeed. 92 centimeters is a beast. This almo is is about the same price they were they were selling their Terminator, right? The bust. The yes. bust is for uh forty seven hundred. That was the the Ooh. life bust. That, that that was a good bust. Yeah, it's a I like that amazing one. one. It's just three thousand no, plus shipping. But still available. Forty four hundred do now. Oh, it's oh I see fourteen hundred deposit and. Damn. Let me see how many I can buy. <laughs> <laughs> just put in the numbers and you can just... Yeah, just put like 200 something and then hike it up. I even can put 300. Yeah, that doesn't work. Update. No, you see? 431 That's, that's a house right there. You see? I can <laughs> buy 308. Let's see if I want to buy 500. Pass the, 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 the size limit. You're going to break limit. the system. You see, $700,000. But you can buy, you see, so I can check out and buy 500 pieces. If they say I it's only you. $299. Your wife will kill you. But where are they? Put it, put it on your cart. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know, I, th I mean, apart from the fact that it looks really cool, the articulated and the silicone with the hands and his neck i think that's what's really important there the fact that they actually chose to do that silicone i, I think it might give the collector some signs that you know queen is looking into these kind of uh next level generation statues i think that's it's what's true. really cool yeah even as some very minor articulation, it is true. Uh, articulated statues, that's insane. How's that work? It's exactly. silicone. It's silicone. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing, right? The, With silicone, the hot sand is there. as big as an adult hand, based on the video they shared of the arm articulation. Yeah, I had a video that I saw today. I don't know if I... I, I don't have it here any longer. It's kind of like the bigger version of the YND um, um, Joker. That you can articulate Joker. everything, like the silicone yeah. with articulation. So I think they're Bruce doing Wayne. that. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but I, I don't know. I have my thoughts about silicone. You know. Yeah, I'm it's a, a bit um, questioning of its longevity as well. I know everybody thinks it's amazing, but I'm like, nobody's had these long enough to really know. And we've got some. You know, I live in a pretty harsh environment in the summer. It's very hot. Um, other people have issues with humidity. I don't know. But also, is it just me? But like, you know, with the J&D Joker, how they were showing, look how far back its neck can go. But I'm like, who's posing their Joker like that anyway? Like, why do you need to even be able to do that? Maybe it's just me, but I'm like, cool. But that doesn't make me want to drop like 3K on your figure. Yeah, it's too crazy. It's too crazy. And another thing is, um, remember what happened with Grogu? The Hot Toys Grogu? That oh, was yeah, coming right. with the, with the, yeah. With the, the broken rip. jaw, the rip in the, the, the jaw. jaw. Yeah, it was that, ripping. You know, that's my one of the concerns, you know, like, again, you know, it's fine. For example, like when you have life-size busts in silicon, it's, it's kind of cool because you're not moving them, right? It's silicon, but it's not like you articulated at all. So it is like that, right? But when you start moving stuff, you're gonna put tension in it, and at some point it might damage. Again, nobody had this long enough to know if that's gonna happen or not. Maybe it never happens, right? Maybe we're just talking our behinds, but but still, you know, it's some valid concern, right? Something that of you course. articulate and move can break. You know, anything. Of course. That's just how it is. Figurecraft, you just got the Grand Inquisitor. Good. Well, I, I enabled you. Um, we still got 80 in the chat, but we, we are, because we are uh, running out of topics. If you guys in the chat have any topic that you want to talk, any question that we you want us to cover, let us know. Um, Ask us tough questions, something that is like Let me see, Bob Dylan saying, oh, no one and nothing lasts forever. Enjoy it couple. and sleep easy. Oh, Bob Dylan, you know what? Today, um, 
Yeah. Actually, I was That's I was to message you because um, our friend uh, Fortin Wellington, I think, he messaged me because he wanted to buy. Him. No, not Fortin Wellington. What is Fortin Wellington? Uh, yeah, he wanted to buy the um, the BBO toys, that silicon figure, the one six scale that the the guy from the um, that the Chinese old dude from the from the, the that one that was all silicon the first one we saw that the neck would move and everything uh, because it's available on giant toys did you bob Dylan, did you ever ever got to pre-order that or 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 not because i i, I would like to see that figure but uh, i'm not going to spend 500 to to bet on a silicon figure that i don't know carlos. from where that silicon comes from carlos how are you Juan, ellen christian dante just want to stop and say hello i'm work and we'll watch the recap later on tonight. Have a great day, mi gente. Have a good ah, day. Have a good working mi day, gente, no, uh, mi gente. Carlos. I've seen Carlos in mi a gente, long mi gente. time. How you doing, man? Hopefully, you, hopefully you're doing okay. Exactly. But Fortin Wellington, he, he, he told me that he, he was going to buy it because um, it's a, a movie that he loves and he wants to get that figure. But um, I hope that figure uh, turns out well. Figurecraft testing X-Men 97 fans, anyone? I need to see, see the recap because it's been years since I watched X Men. Today, oh, Christian never told me of the cartoon, though. to wa to watch, <laughs> but uh, I kind of discussed with Christian. I, I told him you never watched the, the the earlier ones, the comics. Why are you going to watch this if you don't know anything? And then I sent him a link with a recap. Is a thirty eight minutes recap that can put you up to the stuff. And I don't know if Christian will follow that. If you will just go all in in the first episode and then will message me asking who is cyclops who is wolverine uh, why wolverine have the 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 claws in the hands and that's day to day uh, uh dante said no not much helen x-men <laughs> i'm already seeing your face that is a big no no um, i'm just going what a friendship you and christian have my goodness um Christian, you have the patience of an angel, my friend. Um, no, I am, I am interested in this. Um, and I was going to dive in and watch it. And then I saw Joao's very vigorous comments of watch the recap. So now I'm also going to watch the recap so I can watch the first two episodes that dropped on Disney Plus. Because, you know, I don't want Judge Joao coming after me. I give you, I give you the short recap. Because there's other recap that is 138 minutes. That is That's like a full long. recap. It's two hours. But the ones I give you is 38 minutes. I think it's, it, it, it's, it's doable. Um, 38 minutes, I think it's doable. But I, I'm, I'm going to... Th there's only one episode available, right? Is Disney Plus, so it's one per week? No, for the premiere, they dropped two. Yeah, I think there's oh, two. They dropped two? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, it's out already? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. out. He's out. I was yeah. going to ask you if you watched it. So I'm living as you see, Jim, Exactly. Uh, Jim Clyde is saying he's rewatching the original series on Disney Plus before I get to the 97. I think this, oh. if you have the time, if you have the time, then uh, then it's it's cool. Because they are shorter episodes anyway. Um, I mean, I used to, I mean, I remember watching it when I was a kid, but uh, <laughs> I mean, we're just watching it, but I was never into it remember watching is i also remember but now to remember all the stories and the lores i know i cannot because uh, first i never read the comics so the only things i know is is from the the, the tv shows so i kind of need to watch some recap to uh central call is saying screen crush uh, as a great recap um, and they say here they sort uh, they sort of catch you up in the beginning of the new one. Mm, maybe I try that one. And Flav is out of collectibles. How are you? The animation artwork is amazing, and Figurecraft confirms that is two episodes. Um, apart you know, from that, mm -hmm. since we're talking about like recent shows from Disney Plus and Dante's here, Dante, are you excited for Acolyte? Yeah, I want to see. I want to see that. Um, I didn't watch the trailer. I mean, I saw the trailer, but without the audio. <laughs> but I, I want to rewatch it because I was at work, so I couldn't. Um, but it, I mean, the trailer looks fantastic without even listening to the audio. 
like it looked the, the the effects and everything looks insane you know I, I can wait i can wait to that one but there's a one movie that i'm very excited about and i can't wait and i don't know if you guys saw the the, the teaser trailer which the is aliens? uh beetlejuice beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Oh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Also, Alien yeah. Rumbles. That one looks good, too. Ah, I like that trailer. It seemed yeah. pretty spooky. I like pretty, it. Yeah. Alien, that's how Alien, Alien should be. I haven't watched both trailers, Alien or, or Beetlejuice. Not yet. I saw the Acolyte trailer. Uh, I hope we, we have some good stuff from there. Let's 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 see. Um here, Tremble is saying heads up for some who may be confused with the first episode of X Men 97. In the original series finale, final, uh, Xavier didn't die, he was taken by the HR. They changed it to it's assumed he died in X Men 97. Okay, they changed it so it assumed he died. Uh, movie Canon in the house, member of the channel, how are you, Movie Canon? And, um, yeah, Acolyte I, I, is the one I saw. I, I kind of like that trailer. The Alien, I didn't watch the trailer, and Beetlejuice, uh, not too. One thing that I was kind of excited was the the Frozen Empire Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. But the reviews are not, not good at all. The reviews are not good. I don't know what happened there. But is that reviews and from the uh, critics or review from the people? Both. I mean, it's, it's not only... I mean, it's not only the because uh, I know it's difficult sometimes go with the reviews from the critics because sometimes they give shitty reviews, but the movies turn out to be actually good. But uh, the problem is that ma majority of the critics are not are not good. Majority of them in Rotten Tomatoes, this is like now with forty six percent or forty seven. I don't know. IMDb is with a, it was with a seven out of ten. Um, but I saw that um, I, I, I don't go into spoilers because I also don't want to spoil myself. But they said that was a lot of nostalgia and very few juice in the movie. There is no, no, not much. Um, but I, I still want to, to see the movie. Oh, let me see. Uh, Windman42 said I saw Ghostbusters last night and thought it was very good. Not as good as the original, but very funny. Oh, cool. Nice to know. Uh, Winman, but comparing with the with the afterlife, do you, do, do, would you say it's it's as good or, or better? That, that's I'm curious about that. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I, I like Afterlife. I think that was a good movie. Afterlife, I watched it twice or or three times. I don't remember. I really like that movie. Um, and he said also the nostalgia was not most of the film, just a bit. Okay, oh. so it's good. Anyway, I need to wait until digital release uh, because that movie is not is apparently is not screening over here. I wonder not why that though. One, I, I still I'm still waiting for for the release of the Godzilla minus one. I need to see that movie. Me too. And, Me too. No I way. See that one. Jesus Christ. Wait, Dante, you haven't uh, watched it? No. I, it's, it, it's been a while since I went to the movies, man. I don't have the time. That sucks. Like I tried to get, make some time, and I sometimes I can't. Um, but wait, wait, I want to see. Wait, wait. So amazing! Wait, hold up, forty-two. Hold up, hold up. Amazing. It's been a Thank while. You. you haven't been to the movies, and you haven't watched Godzilla. Does that mean you haven't watched Dune? Not yet. Jesus Christ! Not yet. The problem I'm is done. that in my house, I'm the only one who who kind of like that movie. <laughs> so like, and I don't like to go to the movies by myself. But I'm thinking, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it next week. I'm just gonna go after work. I'm just gonna go <laughs> by myself just to watch it. Because I want to watch that one. I've been wa wanting to watch for a long time. Because I, I watched the first movie like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I wanted to go on that weekend Same and I me. couldn't. But then I got sick, so I couldn't go. I'm like, shit, now that I want to go, nobody wants to go. Because they don't want to see that. They want to see Kung Fu Panda. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu I'm like, Panda <laughs> for it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to fall asleep in that one. Um, but... Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can go either this weekend or next week just by myself. I'm just gonna go at night. The movie can is saying he enjoyed Frozen Empire more than Afterlife. Ghostbusters really? needs to be in New York City. If the movie can and says this, so I I will I will I will follow his lead and and I believe it's a good movie. JB also saw Dune 2 last night. Epic. Everyone says the same. Yeah, I know. And Trimble Dust haven't watched Dune 2 maybe a wait for a streaming for me for me is definitely waiting for streaming i don't have any other chance uh, so 
it will be a while uh, i guess i know that the godzilla minus one will lead the streaming uh, in april april or may i, guess I heard the, uh, may 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 the beginning of may I the godzilla wait minus one. one yeah i, I will i will one. wait for that one too i have um, high hopes for that one uh, Figurecraft is saying, Dante, go by yourself, you will find it relaxing and therapeutic. The problem is that if he goes by himself, he will fall asleep. <laughs> I bet with you. Who's going to wake me up? I'm going to be sure. snoring. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, I would uh, not. I, I, the, you see, when I saw Dune again, so what I did was, the first time I saw the movie, um, I guess I wasn't paying attention, and when you're not paying attention in the movie, you're going to fall asleep. And that's what yeah. happened to me. Not that the movie was horrible or not. The second time, I said, you know what? I need to watch this and dissect everything. So I watched it in part, two parts. One hour one day, and then the rest of the... Actually, three parts. One hour, one hour, and then the rest another day. And then, after I finished that, I waited a day, and then I rewatched the whole thing again from beginning to end. Non-stop. And I, was in, I enjoyed the whole movie. I was like, you know, I couldn't... I, I was able to understand the whole story, the you know, the dialogue, and everything. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm ready to see Dune 2. Then I got sick. I'm like, shoot, I couldn't go. Then I told my daughter, you want to watch, want you to watch Dune first and then we can go and watch the second movie? Yeah, sure. I've been waiting for a week for that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to wait for anybody. My wife, she's not into that. She she said she doesn't care. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go by, by myself then. It is what it is. And then they wanted to see, no, no, but let's watch Kufu Panda f instead. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So that's my that's my uh my movie experience it kind of sucks i used to go to the movies a lot like a lot every weekend or every release i was going but then i don't know like i stopped kind of going not because i can go it's just because i don't know i just you know i was waiting for the right movie to see i don't want to watch any movie because sometimes i feel like i don't know i mean the reviews are not that great i'm just gonna wait for uh, when it's streaming you know but then you know the ghostbusters i want to go watch that one probably everyone gonna go because they, they like ghostbusters so that one no problem dune 2 is my problem right now so i'm gonna go by myself watch it probably next week i'll go to see uh ghostbusters and then beetlejuice i know my daughter loves beetlejuice my teenager daughter she loved it because she watched it with me for the first time she's like i'm gonna i'm gonna show you a movie and i can guarantee you're gonna love it and she loved it. She was telling me, oh my God, this movie was so fun. She loved it. And then when I told her that the second one was coming out, she was, oh my God, I can't wait to see it. And then I showed her the pictures and everything. She was so excited, you know? Uh, so that one definitely I'm going to go with her. I know she's going to like that one. And what's the other one? An alien. My son loves alien. So I know he's going to love that one too. And the trailer looks pretty good. Wait, how old is, this, is your son? My son is 17. Oh, yeah, okay, he'll be fine, he'll yeah. be fine. And then my daughter is uh, 15 going 16 in October. Did you guys saw these uh, new from audio cases? They are doing this um, cabinet called Mono. Uh, fully adjustable, slim, slick. This is like a, a, a Detolf, right? But it's... Um, uh, high-end Detolf. Yeah, like high-end high -end yeah. Detolf. I think they look cool. The only thing I wish is that um, the to me at least the the black borders they are seem a bit thick. I don't know. They take a, they, they they are very similar to the top. They are more similar to Billy's than the top. I think. I agree. I agree. I'm not too. I mean, I kind of like the concept of it, but I don't like the thickness. It's too thick. You know, it should be a bit thinner, the, the, the borders, you know, so you can appreciate everything at all angles because that kind of covers a little bit of the figure. And because it's a tiny uh, case, it's not like a, like a regular Mojo case that you have, you know, one tens or, or the other scales, I don't remember. You know, you can see from every angle, right? It's better. Um, but again, this is just a picture, right? We need to see more, yeah. especially on the side and see how that yeah. looks. This one here will look really good if you have like a corner space, like I do have a corner space that is kind of like empty, that one will look great in that corner because you can put figures there and it doesn't matter if they had that thick edge because, you know, I have the the, the, garage, the garage shelves for the statues. So for me, I think it will work. 
but I don't know for other collectors. Yeah, it's it's anyway it's a, a cool concept because the tofts now are are completely gone. They do have um, other other line that is Bladilan or Bladilan or what. Um, but let's see. I, I, I'm curious to see if Modus Space can compete with, with those prices because those shelves, I don't know how much is the Bladilan is like 129 or, or Pretty expensive. something like that. Uh, I don't know if if they can if they can tackle that. But, but yeah, the concept the concept is good. But these will still be acrylic, won't they? I think so. I think it's the same concept. Is the the magnetics with acrylic? I think so. So price would be a lot cheaper than the uh, IKEA's. So that would be better. But uh, I don't know. Like uh, I I know Shane has like changed all his uh, display into the 2.0 details with the thick exactly. borders. It look it does look nice. Put. You know with them together but i always thought like those borders were way too thick and no to i see... don't think those those are thick yeah and to see like even module cases making these as the same similar designs like gives me questions to where to to where the uh appeal people see in these in the, with these um thick borders because i, I really don't understand like for me, I like my. S some people like these black yeah. borders. Yeah, I mean, and I these, these. Yes. Sorry, I was gonna say, I like a border. I have borders on all my cabinets, but I think the new IKEA cabinets have done it really nicely, where you've got the border, but it's quite slimline. I think where those cabinets kind of let people down a little bit is that revised size because if you're just putting one figure per shelf, looks beautiful. I've seen people try to put two and three figures on there. Does not look big enough. So I I think aesthetically the new IKEA one looks great. I think practically it's not maybe that amazing if you want to have a whole bunch of figures in your display cabinet. And I think this is an interesting move from Modular Space to go into this kind of category of product. But the thing is, if I can go to IKEA and get something straight away, mm. like how long are they going to take to deliver this? Because we know with the Modular cases, people are still waiting a long period of time to get cabinets. So if this is another thing that's going to take nine months, 12 months, 18 months, I think while the concept's interesting, I think it's going to be hard to move collectors because particularly a new collector, I don't know you're going to wait that long compared to I can drive to Ikea in my city and grab things now and have them that day. So it's yeah. interesting, but I'll be keen to see how quick the turnaround and also the cost. See, they look nice. I like the black border yeah, on nice. those cabinets. It's just that they're very restrictive with the display space. I think these are not 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 that thick as you're saying. And shout out to Shane One Six Figure Focus, um, subscribe to his channel, of course. But I think this this doesn't look too thick, and these have an advantage: is that they are um, the shelves are are glass, while the module cases they are using the black panels, and I think the black panels kind of um, uh, restrain a bit the light that you can catch in the old cabinet, while these ones the. Um, the, the light is, is goes everywhere but, but let i me, let me i have my cabinets like that though i have um i've got detoffs and i've covered the shelves you don't with you don't the... think this looks cool i think this looks amazing it looks cool but i um i actually like having the shelves covered is what i was going to say because i think it stops a lot of light bleed so for me i've got a couple of detoffs which you can't see and i've covered the glass shelves because I actually I actually like the way that looks so personal preference but I think um sure I don't know that the black shelves are the point of the design that I would question if that makes sense you and, see uh, with, with sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt you for, with no, with no. um that, that's a good point Helen um, for example, for, for those in particular, the lighting is already incorporated, right? So the lighting is there. So even though it's, it's a black background, um, the light is bright enough. Like for example, the module cases that I have, the lights are actually pretty good, very bright. 
So, and it looks nice. It, there's no reflection in the back, right? Which is, at least to me, when I do my, my videos and things like that, it kind of bothers me, the reflection in the back. So I have to, that's why I changed to module cases. And then if I have to record anything, uh, I will have to remove just the front cover, right? The acrylic in the front because that reflects, you know, the, the, the light or, or the camera rather. So I have to remove it, but it's cool because at least to me, it, it's a black background, right? Um, the one that, uh, that you were showing before, uh, uh Joao in the video, um, mm -hmm. that one looks pretty cool. I like, I like the setup and all that. Um, but I would rather have a black background. You know instead of like a transparent like a like a glass and then you just see the mm -hmm. wall behind it right or maybe your walls painted in black you know that will that, at least to me will work but again it's just kind of personal preference right but it's 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 actually i don't know these new ikea cases so i can't comment for them but with the detox it's so easy to put a black background because that was my thing as well i didn't like the fact that i could see the walls behind i could see powerpoints i could see all kinds of things with the DTOF, it's actually very easy. Um, I use a material called ACM. It's like a thin panel. And I've covered that in the matte black vinyl. And all you do is you unscrew the wooden top of the DTOF and you can just slide it down the back of the cabinet. So with the DTOF, it's actually quite easy to put a black background. That's what I've got. The backing is black. The shelves are black. Um, I don't know about that new one because that new cabinet to me looks like it has a frame as opposed to the DTOF, which is frameless. So you've got that gap in the back to cover it. Um, but you could also, when you're putting them together, just apply um, a vinyl or something directly to the glass back panel, like the two sort of glass cabinets I've got behind me we've just put the black straight on the back of the glass and it's adhered really well. I've had that for a couple of years. So I think, yeah, you've got to know what you want ahead of time and, and do that because it's much easier to do it before you've assembled the cabinets and having to take them apart again and start trying to um, retrofit these things. But right. here, Agent Silver Fox is saying that the IKEA units are dust proof and that's the other disadvantage because the modulators are dust proof. And the other yeah. thing here, is that in the module case, because I, I was checking the, the, what you were writing there, is that it's fully adjustable, means that you can change as you want the, the layers uh, size. If you want to put, for example, two quarter scales, oh, okay. or if you want to, to you know, because the, the, the details are basically pre-made the size. You can change, but you need to go into some DIY hacking to change the, the shelf size. And Bob Dylan is saying that... Um, uh, Brian said that the, the initial sale of this model will be a pre-made batch, so minimal waiting time. That's Winman cool. saying, uh, I agree with Helen. I only have the tops at this point and I cover the shelves of all of them because of the light bleach she mentioned. Looks better for me, especially for photos in these cases. And Hector in the house, one six shape, how are you? I think with some Google foo and patience, you can build your own without having to spend a ton of and no waiting time. And makes your collection more personal exactly that's why many of us do the garage shelves how are you actor uh winman 42 saying again i also have custom bags for all of the tops so for my lando hot toys figure i have an interior photo of cloud city for smiley it's a peak of new york city and so on yeah because i know some people do this and looks really cool they do some backdrops with some photos that can can match the figures they have and this looks really really good um and but yeah, one thing I noticed in the lights on this ones looks like are on the sides. Exactly. It's on the right? sides. Yes. So that's why it gives you that uh, illusion that is well illuminated, which is good. Again, this, this thing looks good. doesn't look bad at all. Just for me, it's a bit thick. But again, it's just one picture, right? We need to see it with a bunch of others. Uh, cases together then you'll see okay this is good and maybe we are seeing this uh, the, they shoot this from an angle we are not seeing exactly from the front so maybe it's, uh, give us the idea that is that is thick but anyway they are doing this it's always cool right it's always cool that they are yeah. coming with with new options and um, we we only have have can win with this no no any complaints um yeah we all have different needs so we never know exactly we all have different needs anyway with that said i think we are going to wrap up here because it's very late for me tomorrow i need to wake up at 6 20 
I know we don't work tomorrow, but um, I still need to make some stuff tomorrow. Um, and uh, I believe Hellison is also a bit tired. Um, Hellison. Christian, <laughs> Christian needs to play League of Legends. I need to go Dan to League of Legends and kick some ass. And uh, Dante need to go to Evie's Lynch. And before we leave, uh, Agent Silver Fox saying some of the module cases you can adjust acrylic shelves full or half. That's what I've done on some of mine. Yeah, you can adjust them. That's a big, big uh, plus. Uh, Dante, you are going to a live stream tonight? Do you want to plug in your live stream? Or? Yeah, you're invited, sir. If you are sending your message. I will try my ignoring, best to arrive in time. Me. I'm not ignoring you. I haven't seen your message. Uh, say uh, what time? 8, 8, 8 p.m. EST, right? Yeah, which is 9 your time. 9 a.m. 9 my time. 8 p.m. EST. Uh, please uh, f um, tune in into Man of Hot Collectibles. Um, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't yet. Um, and of course, remember to subscribe to Six Scale Shiro, uh, our Helen. Um, and to to Christian uh, OnlyFans, uh, Christian the Korean at OnlyFans. And Whenever as you always, see a banana getting eaten. Jesus Christ. And as always, we will see you next <laughs> Friday at the same time, same hour. Everyone have a great weekend and we will see you next week. <laughs>